sucks dick. Oh, well, I, yeah. I, 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 I don't... There's a difference? Yeah, yes. I played Magic all of once, and I was really drunk when I did it. <laughs> I, I can't... That sounds like I, the best way to do it. And in the middle of the woods in Wisconsin, but that's a story for another time. Oh, uh, okay. That, that's a... Hmm, story. <laughs> yeah, that is was, a story. And it, it somehow funny. involves magic cards. Well... Snake played magic with, with Bigfoot to save that was, something. That was, Snake that played... Was, that was, <laughs> It's like that a was the, always sunny thing. Uh, that Stay was the week clean. I was. That was the week I was on vacation, and you guys had to fill in with. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. Huh. Why, why do I always? Why do I see that? I just now see like an always sunny snake plays Magic the Gathering in the Alps. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, don't buy new phones ever. Oh. Why are we? Why are we announcing that? Because I got an S9 and the screen protector sucks dick. Even the people who made the protector can't put it on. That's a great wow. sign. <laughs> Isn't it, though? It's because these damn curved edges that serve absolutely no purpose. But oh, they're so smooth! Don't you? I, I like my, fa my, fa my favorite. My favorite. Whoa! Yo, the bit. Oh, my lord! Uh oh. X Nick of 10. Oh my god, sorry. X of 10,000 bits don't usually like leaving a message, but I just wanted to say thanks to Monty and all who helped get tonight's session going despite the Roll 20 issues. 10,000 bits. X Nick of, thank you so much for the support. You're welcome. I had, to, I had to sacrifice some things, but it's all on me. It's okay. I'm not that upset. It's fine. You can always just post it later. I could, but I don't know. Hold on, there's a couple already got a couple shoutouts I gotta do here. Um, a bright shadow, forty four, fifteen hundred bits. So happy I can watch some great D and D on my birthday. Oh! Don't feel my stick. Birthday is okay. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see how the game goes tonight. All right, we got a couple other. Wow, we have a couple bits. We have uh, RG Phoenix, thank you for the five month resub. Bernie Cinders, thank you for the ten month resub. Bubba four eight five, thank you for thank you for the Bernie hosting. Sinders. Awkward highly, and thank you for the two month resub. Uh, Paul Werewolf, thank you for the host. Alcoholic, uh, thank you so much for the three month resub. Happy to keep on supporting you, Tucky. Here's to the net ones all around. Gore Star Seven, thank you for the seven month resub. Take my love. The real King Gidera, thank you for the rehost. Oh my lord. Uh, okay. No, nobody X. 200 bits. Cheer Monty. Hadi, when is it Emu Kenku? A cassaway. A cassowary is fine too. Worth boon 100 cassowary. bits. Too Five strong. weeks till I can return to watch these live. Hope roll 20 behaves tonight, won't we all? Uh, random man, thank you for the sub. Uh, the attacking stick. Thank you for the sub. Core crasher. Oh my! It's all. It's all coming. It's all coming on. Core crasher. Thank you. Thank you for the 555 bits. Love you guys. Glad I can watch this live. Dark wolf eyes. 1500 bits. I have worked under an hour, so I'm cheering now. Thanks for making this shitty time of having to deal with the loss of two family members in under three months a lot less shitty. So sorry to hear that, dark wolf eyes. But I'm glad that we can provide some some calm in the storm of that. Uh, Nosorg, thank you for the 300 bits. Yeah, extreme time. Point Dexter, 120 bits. Glad to catch this week's episode live. 500 bits from Sasquatch Swing. Oh, my God. Uh, another birthday kid <laughs> dropping here. Ah, oh, birthday! And then can't wait Keep to see. Keep dancing, monkey! Can't wait to see what happens this week. Rook Alec, 1500 bits. The Unexpectables, hi! Rook Alec, thank you for the 1500 bits. That ginger kid, 1000 bits. Yay, first live stream. Thanks for coming here. Scythe Drago, 10,000 bits! Take these bits for the good boy. Can't wait for the session. Thank you so much, Scythe Drago, for the 10,000 bits. Thank you so much. For the support, my goodness! And uh, DRK Gannon, one, two, three, four, five, six. I may not be able to drop thousands of bits at a time, but I still want to wish you all good luck tonight, all the same. 100 bits, thank you so much. Agaela, thank you for the sub. Stingrayo, six, thank you for the nine month resub. Portal Jumper, three, three, nine, thank you for the 500 bits. Birthday is greeting all. Good job to money for hard work making this happen this week. Bits for the best DM! Penguin Man, zero, nine, one, three, two thousand bits. Bits for the survival of the session. Era oh. Pen, thank you so much for the four month resub. Four months of live and expectables, and still can't look away. Ah! on cue. Frobate! <laughs> Money from nothing, stand attack. Wow, 30,000 bits. 30,000. I, like, 30, I like, how, like how he drops at the moment I drop. 
stinky, very expensive duckling. <laughs> uh, 30,000 bits probate just like taking the old god up be like nah my spot and suplexing him off <laughs> nailing the bridge real fast guys we'll get to do some more intros here be kimball 1993 500 510 bits excited to watch this live after binging on the archives monty you rock thank you so much for binging that's six days worth of archives you understand that right is it yeah, now? six Holy days yeah. worth of D&D. What, what is that one attack in Final Fantasy? Spare change where you use your gill as an attack? Mm. I'm pretty sure that's uh, what... Payday. I, I'm, you do payday. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that is probate's special skill. He's a meow. He's a meow. He's a, He's a meow. meow. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's a Pokemon, or it's a uh, Final Fantasy. Oh, is it too? Yeah. yeah it's... I always just think of payday from Pokemon. I thought it was throw gill, but... Mm. It might be throw... Gill oh, toss. Gill toss. Gill toss. There you yeah, go. Yeah, toss. Yeah, but, uh, Skelly Jack, 500 bits. Thank you from Florida. We love the Unexpectables. Thank you so much, Monkey D. Luffy 505, 500 bits. If you guys don't make logger room in the bar, I don't know what you guys are doing. Lord Zaka kick ends, 508 bits. I just imagine probate suplexing Taka into a thing of money. I imagine probate suplexing me into the... Uh... Yeah, he, he, he suplexes you into, like, Scrooge McDuck's Yeah, thank you, Scrooge McDuck's... Dun, dun. Oh, it's not a liquid! It's a solid... It's not a liquid! That forms a very hard surface! Ah! And Kaiju Mutant, 3750, 1,020 bits. Hey, Taka, here's some bits to make up for missing your last two streams. I've had to open up the last two mornings, but I'm here for my favorite people in the world to play one of my favorite games I usually don't have bits. But as someone who also suffers from anxiety, I hope that whatever you put these to makes the hard times a little bit easier. Thank you so much, Kaiju Mutant. That's very nice. And Ace Rama, 1,000 bits. Is probably the sugar daddy of the collective, Lanny? I don't know. I mean, Is he? He's... he's He's easily an executive producer on pretty much everything we do. Yeah, it's true. Oh, oh my crazy. farming Sweet. for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Jumbo! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Jumbo Jack. Ah! This kills the man. This kills the tag. <laughs> ah. Oh, so many. Ah, Jack Jumbo. 20,000 bits. My god. All my farming for nothing. Put all that wiggling in the chat, Jesus. Ooh, all my bit farming for nothing. So Jack Jumbo just gesturing at his kingdom going, What has happened? Attack the tack. Oh my god, Jack Jumbo, thank you so much for the 20,000 bits. Thank you so much for the support. Holy shoot. And finally, Rand Cossack, 713 sub. After this, we're going to take a short break from bits, guys. We're going to do intros. Uh, but Ryan, Rand Cossack, 7 month resub. Huh, I guess my anniversary just hit. Well, being here 7 months, here's to 70 more. If I may make one request, may I request a duck quack from the Mallard Master? Hi, myself, Zito. Chris Zito? Keep sure, up. one second. Uh, hold on. And, uh, okay. <laughs> there you go, yeah, that was really good. <laughs> Keep up the great work, folks. They're all awesome. Even Greckles. Ooh, excellent. Congrats, Greckles. Oh. You made it in. <laughs> oh, I feel so <laughs> pleased. I'm so pleased with I, I just, again, I would really, like, that is a crazy amount of kindness. And oh, my fucking. <laughs> Helix! <laughs> oh! It's raining. Oh, Helix! Ha-ta! 8,500 bits! <laughs> Thank you so much, Helix. Oh, my God, guys. I <laughs> he sniped that. Alrighty, guys, we can't do any more bit calls, but I'll hail the new bit bus. Helix! New sound for Helix. And let's do some introductions. Lanny, how are you doing today? How, what's up? Ah, doing quite well. Doing quite well, Talk. I just got off my stint of briefly DMing for the Natural Wonders. Thank you, thank you. I hope everybody that uh, tuned in last night enjoyed it. We had a great time, and if you missed it, it is live now on the TFS Gaming Channel. The archive is sitting there. Feel free to take a look at it. Uh... Yeah, that's what I've been up to. That's good. And you and me actually, uh, is something coming out on Saturday that you and me played. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, uh, if uh, those of you tuning in earlier to uh, Taka's channel here, the 101 Club, or if you were over on my channel, the Lanimaniacs. <coughs> <coughs> Son of a... <laughs> Twitch.tv slash Lanny Fattori. You can also check me out there. Taka and I played some Sea of Thieves on Monday. You'll be able to catch that over on TFS Gaming on Saturday. Yeah! <laughs> oh, thank you. I know, it's, I know it's killing you. Just do it. I'm giving you permission to <laughs> <of> my junk. <laughs> what? 
Jesus. What the fuck? <laughs> Taurus, that's 34? 34,000 bits! Hokuto! Accurate skin! He likes nani! Your wallet is already full. <laughs> <laughs> Probate! Uh, Probate uh, with the 34,000. <laughs> oh! Yeah, he's ejected to producer on that top secret project now, Nick. He's like, it's going to be listed in the official. Cut. How was he not? He was already. Yeah, really. He was it. already, but I might have to canonize it. We'll have to find out what happens. But, anyways. <laughs> Wait, we're going to have to go to like a priest and like bless it? What? Yes, we have to. We have to. It has to be bl <laughs> blessed. Sorry. The, the 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 pope has to touch it. I mean, the po the pope the pope must go. Holy. Mr. Francis, please touch this once. <laughs> he like he like touches it, but then it's just right, rubbing. All right, moving on, moving on. All right, we, we Snake, are, how are you we doing? Are Snake? Yeah, we're already ten minutes over. Snake, how are Sorry. you? Snake, how are you doing? What's up? I'm 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 doing good. My name is Snake, and I'm bad at Hearthstone. Okay, cool. Goomba, what's up? What's up? Uh, congrats cool, on all. Good. Working on my. Congra what? Congrats. I don't know. Just, on? Uh, you know. You, you know. On being loved? Ah, uh, dude, I, I relish in it every day. Oh, man, you. Relationship goals. Of right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, come on. Yes. Move on. Let's yes. go. Let's go. Zeno! Let's go! Let's go! CZ backlash. What's up, man? Hello, you will find me at twitch.tv slash Zeno. I return. Out. Be tomorrow for some artwork. You cut out entirely. <laughs> you, I will. Ah! <laughs> oh no. Hello, Zeno at twitch.tv slash Zeno. Art stream tomorrow, back in full swing. Fucking next person. Okay. Hey. Hi, Hi, Monty. What's up? This my, 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 my family, my blood. What is, what's going on? Ugh. Ugh. Don't hey, me. hey, hey, hey. <laughs> when mom and dad had me, you're like, let's try again. And then you can. <laughs> yeah, but this time. And then they were like, oh, close enough, I guess. This time for real, though. <laughs> <laughs> Once more. With you joke, but. What? I mean... What? What is that? Hey! 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 <laughs> Hi guys, also me. Hi, I'm Takahata101. I'm not, I'm not done! Okay. Come on. <laughs> you can find me at MontyGlue on Twitter and twitch.tv slash MontyGlue. You're, uh, you're doing an art stream. Uh, you're going to be doing a... Uh, tomorrow, yes, as well. Uh, I do mine, I think, before you, Zito, so... Uh, I yeah, I start mine at 9 o'clock CST. And, yeah. and, and you're also doing... Uh... <laughs> And you're also doing as long as I don't die. Uh, Friday, I'm going to be doing a stream to which every bit donation will be donated to a local animal rescue. So I'll be playing a bunch of oh, that's games nice. there. Yeah. yeah, I'm doing. Uh, I think I was looking at Stick Fighter, uh, Gang Beasts, uh, maybe Outlast, uh, <laughs> and People Fall <laughs> Down, <laughs> and a few other games. So are, kind of. You, oh, I also you, found. Are you oh, as sorry. bad at horror games as your brother? Uh, yeah, worse actually, probably. Oh, wow. Why? <laughs> wow! I'm, I'm, I'm a weenie. Um, I also found my friend sent me a refrigerator dating simulator, so I'm gonna add uh, that to the repertoire because that's a thing that exists. Someone um, goes to itchio.net. <laughs> no, my friend sent it to me and he's like, Look, and I'm like, Don't make me, but yeah, no, so we'll see you guys, uh, hopefully Friday. Uh, doing that for as long as I possibly can. Hey, so. yeah. Monty, <laughs> I'm a weenie glue. <laughs> I am. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh, oh. Too fast. Too fast. Uh, rip it off. Rip it, it, it off. Just thank you for the 5,000 bits. We're going to get to all the big thank yous afterwards. Oh my god, you guys are being so whole fucking kind. Hi there, I'm Takahata101. You can find me right here where you're at. <laughs> slam that follow button or uh, do a choke slam to that subscribe button if you like it even more, guys. But Here's the big thing. Tomorrow, I will be continuing Fred Space, and I'm entering the room where the Regenerator chases me around. It's the best time. No, it's not. I am no. No, I am not want this. I don't want this. Tomorrow at 7 o'clock. I am no want this. My favorite I part am is no I, was, want this. I was working, and all I hear you is screaming, what do I do? And I pop back in, and people were giving you advice. You're like, help me! And I'm like, ah, good. <laughs> It's just all is right in the world. All right, so yeah, what, would, what would you do without chat? Now, now, Monty, can you take us away to a magical kingdom where we don't have uh, our yeah, anxiety? To... Oh, well. <laughs> the fuck we don't? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> no, 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 Go no, Goomba's got anxiety still, but I, my character doesn't. Oh, 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 yeah, we're all freaking chill after the living, sentient, evil goddamn force. Yeah, we're all having a good time.
I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy to be on, on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Right. It's like it's like, he's like the sa- what Digsby's D- like. Digsby has the sound of silence on repeat in his mind. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Digsby's a rock. We have to protect him at all costs. <laughs> yeah, you, you ever seen that slow gif of the of the freaking sloth looking at the camera? Yeah, <laughs> it's like that. It's just he looks at the camera. I'm dead inside. <laughs> all right. All right. I think Sorry. we're ready to go yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When last we left our heroes. Orky the Orc Barbarian, Greckles the Kinku Rogue, Task the Cobalt Ranger, Panic the Tiefling Bard, and a newfound friend in Digsby the Turtle Paladin. The party was sent into the unknown lands of Alavast in search of a flux orb needed to create a teleportation circle in the city. After fleeing from the carnivorous nymph Fleur de Mort, the party found themselves vomiting in victory and in the shadow of a ruined city and a crumbling keep. So as you guys stand victoriously, with burnt vomit down on the ground. Uh, it begins to rain uh, now that you've kind of moved away from this very humid and warm forest. So, a qu- uh, quick question, everybody. Is, is most forests like that and we just haven't met them? Okay, we've been in forests. <laughs> yeah, I know, it was just, we always miss, we never really talk to them. I feel like we should avoid talking to forests going forward here. Bork, I've been in a lot of forests, and there ain't one like that I've seen before. Maybe avoid the purple forests. Digsby just closes his eyes and looks up and enjoys the rain. It's very nice. It's not, like, cold or heavy. It's just kind of refreshing. And after all that running... I've got a question, Monty. Yes. Is that seed destroyed? Uh, the ones that you vomited out, blasted three times with a circuit of blasting, and then stomped out, I can only assume. (laughs) Yes, those ones. Hey, yeah. we just want they're, to be they're, cautious. They're thoroughly destroyed. Um, okay. I Do you want me to be kind? I will ask you this question. That's always good. Uh, yes? Is this a trick question? Okay. You have to roll, t- roll a medicine check on Batsby. Oh no, my baby boy. Do, 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 do. Ooh, that's a 20, finally. Oh no. Oh, Nick. I did much worse. <gasps> oh, oh no. I'm real bad. Oh, double oh, that ones. Oh, Stay out. <laughs> double that ones. You grab Batsby, uh, Digsby, and you're like, Batsby, what's wrong with you? And you start shaking him <laughs> and just being flopped side to side. Uh, Greckles, he still has the seed inside of him. He hasn't vomited. You Batsby gotta get has it. shaking baby syndrome. Like, offer him chowder. <laughs> Digsby, he's still got it in him. Oh, gotta no. Gotta get it out. Oh. Oh, um, I, I just kind of, I'm going to make another medicine check. Yeah. <laughs> this may be better. Just kind of like massage his stomach, try to make him a little queasy. Eh. Eh. Uh, not much better. <laughs> you rub his, his stomach and he like relaxes. I, I went from double nat one to double nat two. <laughs> <laughs> By the end of this game, Nick, you're going to be rolling crazy good, man. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm sorry. <laughs> you, 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 you gently stroke his stomach, and he just looks up to you, like, just like, what the heck, man? Like, you shook him, and now you're, like, petting Are him. Are you maintaining eye contact like, with him? Because it's important for us. <laughs> Hang on. I got this. Uh, Greckles I, covers his mouth. <laughs> I, I crack my knuckles, and I, I walk over to Batsby, and I put my palm towards his nose, and I go, Fartukin! <laughs> you cast uh, press the digitation, I'm assuming. Yep. Just what's the bat's constitution? Let's look that up. <laughs> look look at the book. Negative yeah. six, I'd assume. Imagine the questions you negative. ask when, whenever you play D and D, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. No. Uh, that's a. Uh, I'll just use these stats. I'm sure it's the same. Okay. It's nothing. It's a zero, and that's a seven. Uh, Batsby begins to vomit. Very good. Uh, oh boy. And a seed, almost the side of his head, comes out of his mouth, and it's already, oh. it's already beginning to sprout, like crawling out like a parasite. The roots. I, I torch pull out, it. I pull out what's left. Uh, of you get, you get it away from Batsby first. <laughs> Yo, it's not worse. <laughs> fry the bat. No, we would not fry the bat. I try to find a. We try. I assume you try to find a dry place and just torch the ever loving crap out of it. Okay, so you're gonna grab it. Careful, no, I'm gonna mage hand it. I ain't okay. gotta touch that thing. You I grab attack. it, and as you grab it, it's actually, like, trying to grab hold to something. Like, it's actually, like, lashing out this little tiny seed ew, now. It, it, oh, it, 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 oh, cool, it, 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 cool. It's a, basically a face hugger at this point. Greckles, hold it still. Oh, God, get rid of it. 
I'm gonna pull out what's left of Face Slicer. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to attempt to destroy it with with whatever magical energy is left in in the blade. Okay. So you try and hit it. I'm gonna say you just hit. Yeah. Um, it slices it, but it doesn't kill it. It's still moving. Um, All right, Plan I, B. I, uh, pl plan B, I cut Tone no Jutsu the shit out of it. I'm just, like, blowing as much fire ahead as I can. Okay. <laughs> you blow a ton of fire, and then you hear a pop noise, and it just pops like popcorn, and it's oh, it's done. That was, that was, that, I, uh, that was crazy. <laughs> I'm actually I'm actually going to take out that because because both Task and I put some of that fruit and the seed in a vial. I want to check on that. Uh, you had, did you put, okay, so you guys put fruit in a, in a, in a thing. What did you put the fruit in? Sorry, I gotta remember. We put it, the we fruit in a vial. We, we okay. got we mul mulched it into a vial. Yeah, okay. we have, we have empty potion vials. Uh, the fruit in the vial, nothing's different. Nothing's changed. It's the same. Just a ripe fruit. I'm gonna make a handle animal check just to try to comfort Batsby. Okay. That's you so... Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you pet him kind so... of aggressively, and he, in defiance, flutters from your grasp and goes right back into your shell, and you hear just... You keep doubling your score, like... Nick. <laughs> right? I, I keep getting better. Yeah. I didn't double this time, though, so I'm not His going to jail. Is paying off. Ah. His training is paying off. Um, Batsby seems upset, but not angry. Just, you know, like a cat who's had their tail stepped on. They feel betrayed, but they, you know, you give them food so they won't hate you forever. What, um, what time of day is it right now? Ooh, right about now, it is going into nighttime. Uh, uh, it is over. Fine camp. I, no. So, yeah, I, I was gonna go ahead and see if, like, if, if there's a suitable, like, ruined house we could use as, you know, living space. Okay. You look around, um, there's a few. Um, mostly kind of the same as the Battlefield Stone Foundations, things like that. You get the sense that this is like a capital city. Um, how, how, big is this, you, how big is this city we're walking up to right now? Oh, it, you could assume it used to be bigger uh, before Florida Mort probably ate half of it. Uh, you see some of those stone structures actually going into him. Um, Florida Mort being the forest in this case. Um, it looks about the size of maybe a slightly smaller alabaster. Oh, um, yeah, I was gonna say this. But it's all decrepit fields. Um, what, would you say the you find... what would you say the layout is? Is it just a sprawling mass, or is it, like, stylized in any way? Um, so, I mean, there's walls. There's a few walls here and there, but a lot of it's just, like, aged. Like, it hasn't tended to. Grass is overgrowing it. Um, in terms of, like, a full structure, there really isn't anything. The thing that looks like it has the most structure is that keep to the distance. Um, how many, but you do manage to. How, how many? Sorry? How many American miles would you say uh, we are? No. Oh, good job. Good job. How many? No. How, many how many? The rest of the world, but America, kilometers is. Uh, <laughs> would you say we are away from that place? Uh, probably a decent five or seven kilometers. Now maybe. convert that for the rest of us. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so it's like it's like three point five to five miles. Yeah. Um, so it's not too far away, and yeah, you do get the sense this place used to be much bigger um, before it was devoured by the elements. Are there any flags, symbols, crests, anything in the area? No, just worn stone. Um, Is Log still hanging out with us, or did he wander off? Oh, yeah, he's currently, like, he's, like, poking around. He just runs into, like, one of the houses and, like, runs back out with, like, a stick, and he's just like, RELIC! And he just runs into another house and runs out with a rock. Another relic! He's just running in and out of places. <laughs> like oh, look at him go. Now, I could be an <laughs> asshole and say he's stealing just for shits and giggles. But I choose not to. Borky runs in the house afterwards and Borky comes up with a stick. Hey, dummy. Missed this relic task. And Borky walks away. Um... <laughs> Basically abandoned. There, there's you, you, there's animals. Unlike Florida Mort's forest, there are actual animals around. There's birds. Okay, well uh, I want weasels, to... groundhogs, things like no, that. No corpses this time, though. Um, uh -oh. no, you don't see any. Um, I mean, there's the odd animal corpse. Um, you do see a couple of human corpses, but a lot of them appear to be like enemy corpses, like the ones you saw uh, in the battlefield. It seems like. Uh, actually, you rolled knowledge. What would this be? History. Ta actually, not task. I'm gonna have you roll this because you have you have soldier background. I want you to roll an intelligence check with advantage. 
Okay, here I go. If I could just open my goddamn sheet. <laughs> it's loading. It's it's a little loader. All right, intelligence. Well, bam. Oh. Double fives. Uh, you guys. Yeah, all the doubles. Can we add the two together? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. All right. Well, we'll, we'll uh, just go ahead and skip this then. You know, you know, you know, cobalt strategy, human strategy, stupid and dumb. Dumb humans don't know what they're doing. Um, Greckles would like to try and find the highest pos uh, position he can climb, grappling hook if needed, and just try to survey the general area. There is a, uh, a what appears to be, looks like probably it was a storehouse of some kind. Um, and it appears that there is like a, two walls are currently still intact, and then the two other ones that kind of make the square building are crumbling. And then there's a roof on the top. There's actually like part of a roof remaining. Um, it's about one story high so if you want to grappling hook up there you could you could get on top it is heavy enough that it could probably take your weight you're pretty light Tess, you want to help me out with this one there might be some extra supplies in there all right let's go take a look what do i need to roll for that uh, uh roll just a dexterity check for the the grappling hook me as well or no just just greckles all right uh um... it's easy enough it's not it's not too hard. You you throw it up and it catches on probably some sort of um, structural integrity of this place, and you manage to. Like, I'll say it's very easy. You manage to climb up there pretty easy. Um, you get kind of a view of the other uh, buildings, and you do see the uh, sort of front part of the keep. You see that there is a appears to be a drawbridge um, still intact, but most of that building has crumbled on both sides. It's just kind of the middle. That seems to be intact still. Uh, Borky, Borky uh, yells up to Task. I right, Task, what do you say? Let me roll a perception to look out at this city. Actually, that's not a half bad idea. Seventeen. Seventeen. Second. Should I roll? Uh, I would say just Task for that one. You did the okay. climbing. Task is doing the looking. Uh, task, you do notice framing, um, actually, would you see that? No, you wouldn't. Uh... You do notice in front of the drawbridge, there appears to be, like, another structure, like the one that you're kind of in, like another decrepit stone structure, uh, which possibly is the way into the keep from there. Uh, beyond that, uh, as you kind of look around, you see a raccoon dart out from the storeroom that you guys just climbed on top of with, like, a bunch of babies. And it darts across into another building and disappears. <laughs> Seems you've startled it. But uh, I want to actually investigate to see, like, are we close to where the forest swallows up pieces of the city? Task. No. Horky yells up a task. Task. If you can't, if you can't see anything, cause you didn't answer me. Maybe you should use the bird. Not Greco's, the other one. Ah, uh, 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 a joke. I didn't want me. All right, well, let's go ahead and fucking use that bird then. Okay, I believe it lasts half an hour. Correct? You can be that for half. Yeah, an hour. yeah, yeah. I really need to archive that. Is that is that is that a half hour at any given time or when you activate it, and you can only use it, I think, once per day. Gotcha. Uh, so, might as well be your time's worth. Yeah. Um. So you're gonna use the hummingbird. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, as you are standing atop this building, like Titanic, you go into the T-pose with Greckles behind you. I'll hold him up. <laughs> as you transform, your conscious shifts into the hummingbird. Up, as you oh no. It's a little bit hard, though, because of the rain. Uh, you are very small, and the rain, as light as it is... All right, let's... Ah, 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 <laughs> uh, so where are you heading? All right, uh gonna fly up and try to get a better scope of near the drawbridge okay you you fly off uh while you're doing that what what is everybody else doing i would I'm probably holding... say this you're you're holding him like titanic i'm, I'm caressing task gently <laughs> the, 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 the fucking hummingbird just comes in and dive bombs you in the side of the temples no <laughs> <laughs> um fucked. 
are you guys wanting to the rest of you guys you want to set up camp uh, or you're just more, gonna uh, I'm, I'm digging i'm digging the latrine okay. there we go oh yeah, boy you, we you got just, a place to poop you got a place to poop got the greatest place even make it toilet shaped it's great um, <laughs> uh eventually batsby actually goes up to the roof and hangs off of there very comfortably as the sun begins to set uh panic what are you doing Panic is just uh, letting everything settle down in his head. He's just, he's he's helping Digsby do his stuff. He, there's nothing really he can do at this point. He's just kind of mourning face slicer and just helping out wherever he can. Okay. Uh, Borky, what are you doing? Borky's kind of looking out at the houses around. Borky's trying to see if any of the houses look like they might have something in them or like a clue about this place. And Borky's actually kind of... Uh, Borky's kind of wandering, not the same street as where they're on. Okay. You don't want to go inside. You just want to look, right? Yeah, Borky's, it's just like, you know, one of those pushes open the door and just pokes the head around. <laughs> okay. Roll a perception check then. Okay. Watch out for more bats. <laughs> I'm, I'm nervous about everything real fast here. I'm gonna sneeze. And that is I'm gonna sneeze. a 19. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. Just let it out. I, I'm not let it out. No, let, let it out. Let it out. Let it out. Let it out. No, it's too late. Let it out. Oh, it's the worst. Uh, okay, you poke your head out, and as you do, you hear a as a door is thrown open, and you see Log emerge. Ah! Like Link with a pot over his head. Reliquary! What? Reliquary! Is, is in there? Reliquary! He just runs towards oh. you with the pot in his oh hand. Oh my god, is it a good pot? Roll to see if the pot's uh, good. He puts it down. Uh, it appears to be artistic, at the very least. It's got different sort of, like, um, carvings and engravings in it. He gently puts it down. It's like a clunk. Puts it down. It's a reliquary! Oh, is it expensive? I don't know. Do you want me to take it back to Erlevast? Because if, yes. if you take it, if he takes it back yourself, it's gonna get broken, you know. <gasps> yeah. That'd be bad. It won't be totally bad. What if we? Let me tell you. Have you ever heard of the bag? See, so you have Lady Or, you have Oriara. See, I believe. Yeah, I believe that Oriara is pretty awesome, by the way. I want to say thank you so much to you and Oriara. She's the and best. Got, you know, so far so good. But like, mm. I believe in the more material. And so I've got. The fanny pack of holy. If you put it in the bag, it's safe for later. And it's yours. Put it in the bag. Does, does Locke put it in the bag? He's just holding up the pot now again. Okay. Like he just threw it over his head, like just holding yeah. it excitedly. Borky just opens up the fanny pack, put it in the bag. Log like slam dunks it into the bag. What do I what do I put into my inventory? Uh ancient vase. Ancient vase. And as you hold that open, he begins to pull other things out of his pockets. Oh. Uh, add five pine cones. Oh, damn it! Okay. Okay, five <laughs> pine cones. A cricket. Is it alive or dead? It's alive. Not for long. Okay, cricket. Yeah, not, not anymore. Cricket. Uh, a small thing of rope, about one foot of rope. Wow. One foot of rope. Okay, okay. and... And what else does he have? One oh, second, I gotta double check. I, if I just made that, but oh, oh my lord! Oh, and a chicken egg. How big is a chicken egg? Yeah. It's like a normal chicken, chicken egg. egg. Where'd you get the chicken egg? I got it from the winery. Cool. That's what you call a vineyard and winery. Oh man, I didn't know that. I thought it was a winery. I've been saying it all wrong the whole time. Right. I'm pretty sure it's still just called a vineyard. So, you're, so there, there's more stuff in that house you just came out of? No, nah, it's done. Oh, it's done? It's just Do you want to go keep, want to keep searching for stuff? Oh, I don't know. It sounds like a good idea. That's just, just, that's just, one second. Borky just runs up to the door. Panic, I'm going out hanging out with Log Boy. <laughs> like, there's no door, Bork but you do knock up against the wall. Borky pretty much, can there's I go a, ride bikes? There's just, a door, there's just a door, but no house that stand, <laughs> that panic is standing behind. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Log, go ride bikes. <laughs> we'll go play video games later. Sure, but wear your helmet. Okay, be right, okay. <laughs> we can go play, Log. I have, 
I am the hel I'm a helmet. He just keeps moving. Oh, so Borky takes off a flog, I guess, for a little bit. Yeah, you do. Uh, task at this point, you've made it to your quarry. Uh, what you see in front of the keep is there's a drawbridge. It's quite large. Um, and what it, what used to be a moat is now just a pit of spikes. Like, it is a pit of sharp, jagged rocks. Uh, uh, I want you to roll a perception check. I was about to say, so going, going uh, inside of it to traverse it is not... You'd have to go across the bridge. The bridge appears to be the only clear way. All right, perception, <laughs> weehaw! Weehaw, nine. nine. It is raining quite a bit. Uh, do you want to get closer to try again? Sure, why not? Okay, I'll let you reroll. Ah! Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, as you you fly, and basically this building, unlike the one you guys in, there's like a few walls, kind of like aisles in a store that are still up. Um, and as you kind of go to land on one, kind of splashing in a puddle, you look down, and as you look down, you see a bugbear. A tall, seven-foot-tall bugbear, currently with a javelin. He's kind of angling a shot towards you, uh, and he's going to attempt to throw it at you. And he is going to completely miss. As he throws the javelin, it shatters against the wall beneath you. And I assume you take off, or you stand. Uh, on yes. <laughs> yeah, you take off, and another bugbear who's standing on the other side of the bridge starts laughing at the other bugbear who missed. The other bugbear is not rock, like yelling at you. And the other bugbear is just like, ha, 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 ha. As you fly away, it appears they're guarding the drawbridge. Okay, well, going back into my body. Uh, you're going to make sure you fly all the way back first, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you fly back, you see Greckles envisioning the perfect boat. <laughs> Is there a brick I can I, throw on his I, head? I, the unsinkable. You're, you're too small. You're, there's no way. A small stone, something. You can only be, as the hummingbird, you can only perceive. I'm so sorry. Damn it. All right. So get back into my body. Yeah, you shoop, you come back. and I, I come I come back and I I punch him in the face. <laughs> Greg, you get booped roll, in the beak. Roll the hit, son. It's fluff, dumbass. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You so like, all that like... was non-canonical. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> anyway, return. You say that, though. <laughs> Anywho, what... What did you see? Bugbears. How many? One had a javelin. There was a second one. I assume there's going to be more guarding the drawbridge. Can I do some kind of intelligence check to determine what the hell bugbears are and what they're good at? Uh, mm -hmm. I know what they're good at, and I'm scared. Uh, I, I out of <laughs> character know what they do, but I'm trying to figure out if I could incorporate roll, that in character. Roll intelligence. That's just, just a straight intelligence check. That is a 10. They they probably are like bears and thus might be good at murdering. Um, Didn't we fight one? No. You haven't, no. Oh. Uh, the only bugbear I think you've ever even had any semblance of interaction with was, was the mentioning of Phantom Limsterva. That was about it. Yeah. Um, they, you know that they're large goblinoids. They are, they yeah. are, they are tall goblins. Uh, they are way more brutal than your regular goblin affair, mm. um, and and can be quite the force to be reckoned with. Um, this for them to be there makes a lot of sense. I mean, they're opportunistic, like they're opportunistic, like goblins are. Um, so it makes no surprise that they are currently occupying this place. But yeah, I'm just not happy about the fact that. They were able to perceive a hummingbird in the middle of the rain and throwing a javelin. No, so they, they, they have some distance from where they're stationed. And that also means they probably have a lot of perception, even in this deluge. That's going to make things tricky. We can't uh, go across the moat. It's a lot of spot. There's, there's far too much uh, rubble and far too much spiked footing for us to get across. It's... The, the the moat, yeah, going directly across the moat was very dangerous. The room for error there could be devastating. Um, but you only did see the two bugbears, though. Um, I can only assume there's more, considering it's a giant fuck-off. Like, yeah, you don't yeah. know what's inside. But, yeah. Uh, Borky, while well, you were with Log, Log turns to you and goes, So? Yeah, what's up? About my temple... Right, so like, is, 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 can't anything be a temple? Can't a bar be a temple, truly? 
No. <laughs> that's fair. That's <laughs> told. That's Fucking that's told. That's fair. That's fair. So, like, since we, since you helped us and saved, saved my life, by the way, and I want to thank you and Oriol for that. Like, yeah, the, the, yeah, the temple, the temple, like, what's up with that? Like, what you want? I need one. Yeah, you, like, where? Like, I, oh, no. An elevator. I didn't think I would get this far, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so here's the thing, because, like, temples, mm -hmm. you, gotta, you gotta have style, right? Gotta have grace. Oh, cool. But here's the thing, you gotta make it, like, an elite club. Like, you gotta, <gasps> you gotta have it, like, you talk about it a lot, you don't have to be big. But you have to like let big people come in, right? But not like big in size, but like big in like name, right? Like their names are really long. So that too. But what you do is, what well, is you make it every large like, this temple of Oria. Just have it be nice. Have it look good. It should look. Yeah, yeah, it should yeah, look, yeah. It, should look, it shouldn't be big yet because it's not big yet, right? Uh, hear me out. Hear me out. Live music. I know. You watch as like his eyes blink like a whole bunch of times like a processor <laughs> trying to like process what you're saying. We are now letting the barbarian of oh. the group make executive decisions. Uh, hello, hello, welcome. Well, hello, welcome to the Temple of Ariar, the Sir Microbrew of the Century. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Blog as just kind of goes quiet, leans down and grabs a centipede and goes, a reliquary. What? Are we not, are we not talking about it anymore? Okay. Into the bag, and he opens up the fanny pack and throws the centipede yeah, inside. It's not of for it. everything, though. There is, oh, but again, live music. I know a guy whose name is Panic Grim Tom. That's <laughs> Borky follows Log. <laughs> yeah, Log is heading back to rejoin you guys. You guys all rejoin at your campsite. Yep. Uh, you're, you're out of the rain. You have a nice roof above you. Um, I'm assuming Digsby maybe made like a little bit of a water catch just for the water that was running off the roof. Keep the, you got it. it. <laughs> nice yep. and dry. Perfect. If we're going to make camp here, we better keep we better keep our light sources as dim as possible. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Did you want to say something? I, Hello. I, no, no, not me. <laughs> I, I thought Taka was gonna no, say something. I wasn't I at all. <laughs> yeah, so no, I was just gonna have Tass sitting there, like explain. Oh, the bugbears are happening. Okay, so you relay that. You guys all know about the bugbears guarding the mm -hmm. the drawbridge. Yeah, oh, perfect. It's Borky. It's Borky and Logback. Log, uh, Log actually stands in front of you guys. He like steps on top of a piece of rubble and goes, "All right, everyone." Log. So Hi. you said, and he said, he points to you, Borky, that back in Alabas, I'm gonna have a temple. Yes. Borky. I promise. I may have promised him a little bit of real estate. How much real estate? How much did you, and how where? Much did you need, Log? All of it. Nah, no, nah, that was where he... Log came in with that, and I came in with not all of it, and we met in the middle. Borky, how so far have... in the middle? I may have agreed to one, like, enough to put, like, a little house. We do have room in the bar for well, clerics. But it has to be for Oriara, though. Be, it can't just be we, a bar. We could put some gears on it, and it could be for Oriara. It could be attached to the building, but have a different door. You got log. Yes. I have. If everyone else is okay with this, I actually have a proposition. Okay. He sits down. We are, at some point, looking for a cleric. And we are probably going to make an extension on the Sweet Dragon. Guys, what do you think? I mean, that's what I suggested. Hmm. So long as everything... So long as it's all uh, proper and in order with all the paperwork we have to do, uh, we have to yeah, deal no, with, then I don't no, see why not. Can you do paperwork? <gasps> I love paperwork. That was my job with Artemis oh, before he hated me and threw me out and said he never loved me. We'll get back to that. <laughs> okay, uh, let's, let's, invoke, let's invoke those emotions. <laughs> well, Log, once we have the funds and the time, <gasps> would you like to not only have a small temple of Oriara in our establishment, but also the head cleric? Also, you get a room. 
<gasps> I get a room. You get a What's room. A room? It's not, it's your a own personal, room. your own personal living space. Remember how your master used to have one? Oh you yeah, I wasn't have... allowed in there. You get to have one yourself. Hooray! Throws up his arms. Okay, well he hops off. I'm gonna go back to Alavas then. I'll see you there. Oh wait, 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 back in, right? Wait, 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 wait. They will not let you in without proper clearance. It's best if you stay with us and go back with us uh, that way. I want to go and see my temple. It's not even built yet, Log. Log, we have to build it. Time! Time! time. Unfortunately, because you're an immortal creature and you have no concept of time, unfortunately, Task. you have to abide by our rules a little bit because we're- Task. It just- it, it's gonna be okay. Just... Log. Uh-huh. We're, we're gonna need some time to actually build it, and we have to make some money in order to build it, so can you give us that much time? Okay, but in the meantime, I'm gonna go back to Alvast, and I'm gonna preach the word of Oriara, because you said Artemis is gone. If you want, then go uh, ahead. Guys, okay. You can get into oh, Alvast somehow, I... seek out someone called Mr. Borpington. He's a man Wait, with a fish head. Borky, uh, let him do what he wants, we'll find him. Greckles is actually going to take Log aside momentarily. Uh-huh. All right, look. You pull, pulling out some paper and just trying to write a note. Look, I don't know how far this is going to get you, but this will at least let the Sweet Dragon know that we sent you. And he just scribbles down a note saying, God, I don't even know. <laughs> we found we, we, that we, we found this another one. Please adopt me, we, we Greckles. Ad we, adopted, we adopted this precious boy. Um, big guy will understand. <laughs> Wait a minute, I have an idea in this case. Hey, Monty, I have a plan, and I want to run this by you before That's... I try to go through. Sure. I, I will say this, as you're writing Greco's your note, uh, <laughs> Log does look up, he goes, you have a really long nose. I get that a lot. You should probably get that looked writing. at. You should probably get that looked at. <laughs> well, I mean, I have been thinking about a reduction. Hmm. Anyway, okay. back back to you. What was your plan? My plan was if I cast Animal Companion, give it to Log, and have him bring it to someone that we know, or at least like, at least have it the Animal Companion get far enough with him to the gates that it can go find uh, it can go find Dor uh Doros. And tell yeah, you could absolutely you could absolutely do that. Uh, I'd click the spell just to see because at this point the other messenger would have completely made it there because it was okay. Like sweet. Yeah, let me uh, let me go ahead. Unless I got and... eaten by like a hawk or something on the way, which I doubt. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, oh. range thirty. How far can it go? I'll be nice. I'm gonna say yeah. I'll say yeah. Sure, you absolutely can. All right, what, sweet. What do, you, so... what do you choose to be the animal companion? You got you got your pick of critters around. Uh, what's something that looks like can be uh can be chauffeured around by log? Uh, that will survive. Um, you find a giant pill bug. Okay, so that while a pill bug is cool and all. I don't think it has a lot of lasting life the moment it gets away from Log going into the city. I'm sure a rat or a cat will snatch it up. Uh, uh, mm. um, you did yeah, Batsby. There we go. Yeah. All right, so do you mind if we use Batsby for this? Well, I, I think he'd be safer going with Log than he would be going with us. All right, then. I'm going to relay a message into Batsby to find Doros the moment Log gets to Alavast and tell him to seek out the small, uh, the small construct. Okay. T Tasca. I, I tie, I tie a small sack of, like, tiny rations around Baspi's neck. Small <laughs> rations. Be safe, okay? You can give him a little side bag. Yeah. Of food. Oh a my bat god. Bag. <laughs> I, I was actually gonna see. I actually was curious what your thoughts were of sending Tarsk with him, but. Uh. No. <laughs> I just imagine, I imagine no. Tass grabbing him like, no. no. Just grab just grab him by the shirt. No. And put him back. <laughs> um, Log takes Batsby, grabs him, not not meanly, and then he walks up to Borky and opens up the fanny pack. No, 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 no. No, not not no, this no, one. No, that does not go in the bag. By the way, okay, I'll hold it's on. Fine. Like, it's okay, but like I it's just log. 
could I could I get real with you for a second? I'm not real. Well, I'm real kind of. I just I'm not organic let's, let's, like you guys. Is there a chair? Can Borky wrap for a second? No, there's like a stone. Borky turns the stone a little bit. <laughs> let's wrap for a second. When you get. Uh, what are we wrapping? No, Is it no, a parcel? No, okay. Is it a gift? Kind of ace. Is it a wound? No. When you get to Alavice, whatever uh -huh. you do, mm -hmm. don't go into the sewer. Okay. 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 Promise me you won't go into the sewer. All right. So I'm. I'm I going... promise. All right. Okay. I'm gonna tell Log that he has to hold on to Bat Speed for as long as getting to the gates, and then let the bat go so he can deliver the message and. <laughs> He'll find a Goliath that's with the guard who will bring him in. Okay. He, he rolled a 17 on his intelligence. He understands. He Red. nods and he begins to walk as the rain kind of bounces around. Batsby actually kind of goes into underneath. He's got like that hat on. He kind of goes underneath that and they just walk together and then slowly disappear. Bye, Batsby. <laughs> Bye, Bats. I, just, I, I could imagine Porky just turning a panic or test and just like, that boy ain't right. <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, is this log gone now? Yeah, log's Borky gone. Borky turns everyone. That yeah, guy's kind of an idiot sometimes. I swear. <laughs> I like him. Oh. Grickles raises a very, very disconcerted eyebrow. Does the eyebrow just go above his head? Up, just like... Yes, it does. It detaches from his body and goes further up. Ta Tass does the fucking uh, the syndrome, like hands to his face, like. <laughs> but hey. I think it's really awesome of you, Digsby, to like have Batsby go. It's really cool that you would care about someone you met and send him back. Batsby's much safer there. I only brought him with us because he was safe in me show, but if he's safer back that way, it's only good for him. Oh, it's nice. Borky, like, slaps him on the back of the shell. Dunk. Yeah, good. <laughs> You're a good guy. Can I call you Diggs? You can. Oh, ha ha, Borky holds up his hands in triumph. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. All right, Diggs. God, I just hope he goes around the forest. I just walked right through it, man. What are you talking about? As uh, long as the as long as the bat doesn't die, so long as he makes it to the trip. Uh, okay, so we need to put up a watch, because now it's nighttime. I'm assuming you guys are going to try to go for a long rest. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'll take the watch where it's the darkest. Okay, I'll put you in the middle then, Task. I'll uh, I'll take I'm, uh, I'm night to early I'm, morning. I'm the only one without night vision, so I'll take the uh, earliest watch. Borky will take okay. the deepest deepest part of night. Task yeah. already claimed that. I, I no, claim that. No, not not darkest, deepest. Oh, the closest guess? part to dawn. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, right. I I have Digsby, Borky, Task, and Greckles in that order for Panic the watch, gets, which gives Panic gets extra sleep because he was injured. Panic gets an extra yeah, yeah extra nap. He's you're feeling sore, panic. Um, definitely didn't have a good time. You felt a lot of Fleur de Mort's wrath in that forest. Uh, and you get the sense that you could have instantly died in that scenario, but you lived. Um, oh, panic knew. Panic knew. Um, actually, hmm, can I do that? I should roll a post event insight check okay. now that you have a moment of clarity and you decided to kind of reflect on things that is a 15. 15. Okay. Mm. and uh, it's it was hard to read there was more to that rage than you think but you don't know what but you lie down as the rain patters against the roof. I would like everybody in order, Digsby going first, roll a perception check. The tank needs to sleep. Okay. Nothing happens, Digsby. On your watch, you don't see anything. Borky, you're up next. All right, I shell up. Shunk. Oh, oh, wait. Um, Monty, I'm sorry. I, I, I couldn't find a good time to bring this up. I'd like to do the Caltrops thing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You can do okay. that. Okay. Yeah, you just scattered them around like planting yeah. <laughs> seeds. But <laughs> Eighteen for Borky. Right. Uh, you once you see a family of opossums that kind of wander towards your camp as you're eating your ration, Borky, and you're like, "Go away! Go away! Go away!" Yeah, go. 
<laughs> tries to approach, but you just you manage to shoo it away. Uh, that ends your watch. Cask, it is now your turn. I just imagine the video of all like the family of of uh, of possums just like eating grapes and shit, just with the <laughs> munching noise. I'm Let me roll. Roll. Thirteen. Nothing eventful happens. The rain increases. It actually starts to like really starts to like, blah, 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 blah. and you can't even see like probably ten feet around with how heavy that rain is. Luckily, Bigsby's little moat is keeping the rain and water out. Mm. Uh, that ends your watch. Uh, Greckles, you're up last. You don your goggles of being able to see things. And I see nothing. That's a nine. And you see literally nothing through the sheet of rainwater, but it manages to lighten up as dawn arises, uh, the quick, very uh, gray dawn. Quick question. With the water catch, can we actually refill our water skins in that? Yes, you absolutely can. Oh, it's wonderful. very easy. Nice. You guys have full water skins, and also you guys need to write off a ration for... Done. Sure thing. Nine Don't eat the fruit that you got from the forest. Fuck that um, shit. Yeah. All right. So you guys are awoken. Uh, task, your compass is pointing towards that keep. How much HP uh, do we regain in a full rest again? Uh, all of it, basically. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Why, because of the bugbears, I can't do my thing still. Damn it. Damn it. Uh -huh. Borky just crawls up. Borky just, like, nudges up to side panic. I panic. Um, I just want you to know... Yeah, I know you're asleep, but it's time to get okay. It's time to get bulky. Ah. 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 And shakes Tannic awake. <laughs> Tannic, what? 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 Well, no, what? Just, I was just getting okay and bulky. It's like the same time. Ah. Tannic just stares at Porky. I try. By the way, I tried to. I tr <laughs> by the way, by the way, I tried to get you a gig. Log didn't take it. Thank you. Uh, anyway. Now I go back to sleep. No. No. Uh, okay, you can hit this if you hit snooze, I'm gonna wake you up in another five. I I I press my palm against Borky's forehead and I fall <laughs> back to sleep. <laughs> you you just flunk, you just b flop over and you go back Borky to sleep. Borky turns the guys. So bugbears. So like are they bears that have like eight legs or are they like bugs that have like hair like a bear? Think orc Think orc goblins. Just... But daddy's, what is their daddy's word? that is heresy. That's what that is. That's heresy. The name's well, very misleading. It is. Thank you, Diggs. <laughs> Diggs. I, 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 you think the name bugbear? I just imagine a bear with like a spider's head. Oh my god, it's terrifying. Oh, anyway, spiders Task. are arachnids. Task, you seem familiar with these creatures. What are their strengths? What are their weaknesses? How could we maybe draw them out? Okay, time to roll. Here I go. I'm going to say with disadvantage because you wouldn't have experience with these creatures with your history. Okay. <laughs> I'm rolling history, though. Uh, Intelligence. Just a straight intelligence just check. Straight intel. All right, yeah. here we go. No. You have no idea. The only, uh, unfortunately, the only information I know what, uh, what Scarbles told us. Uh, Borky, how about you? Yeah. Whoa. Do you know anything about bugbears? What do I roll to see if Borky just like stops? Intelligence with disadvantage. Ooh, you're really you're really trimming my sails, but okay. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Intelligence with disadvantage. Ah, four. You have no idea. Right, a uh, panic. Does anyone know? Uh, panic. Panic is sleeping currently panic. on the no, ground. No, he's got he's panic. got he's got he's got two more minutes. He's got two more minutes. <laughs> I love the sense of time he's got. That was that was a save landing. You need to straighten. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Here comes another port. Ooh, Ooh. a nineteen. Oh. Alrighty. I might have heard something from the dwarves. That uh, would be fantastic. You've actually dealt with sea bugbears before. Um, they actually can be seafaring, um, mostly towards the north. Uh, they are incredibly brutal. Uh, they're extremely good at ambush. Um, and yeah, they're, they're just extremely, they, they, they hit hard. They hit out of nowhere and they, they are very, very quiet. They're very good. They're very stealthy. Um, so actually hearing them standing guard is actually kind of interesting because they don't usually do that. 
Dems is very sneaky things. Uh, most of the time they like ambushing. You said they were standing guard. That's a little odd. Uh, then again, I've never really run into them on land. Maybe that's just them pirate bug bears. Well, we could probably anticipate traps if nothing else. Okay, so like that's probably what the moat so was like, for. It's, so like the moat itself is like it's Spike City, and there's like one bridge, but like so we have to fight through the bug bears. Or I has an idea. What if we find like a catapult and get launched in there? Well, Borky, there are no catapults. We haven't, but we I haven't looked do... for a catapult now, have we, Greckles? Oh. Thank you very much. Tass, did you see any catapults when you were flying around like a bird? Were there any siege weapons on the other side near the gate? No, you didn't see anything on your guys' side or near the no, keep. No, nothing that could uh, have advantage in a siege, Borky. Well, I guess I have nothing, Dave. Borky puts his head. Well, no, but you did have something. Well, if we do find another location around the building, maybe we can find a way through the back. That's, that's fair. Oh, watch that. Excuse me. Borky shakes, panic away. <laughs> it's time to wake up. Okay. He presses his forehead again. No, Borky dodges. <laughs> Miss me with that snooze and stuff. <laughs> okay. I actually had another plan if you guys would be interested. What's that? Maybe we could draw them out. From what you told me, they only had one way in or out, and that was the drawbridge. If we could find some way to draw them out, we could have the advantage. Oh, 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 shoot. Yes, Borky. Yes, Borky. It's time. Borky reaches into the fanny pack holding and pulls out Human. I oh, has an <laughs> idea. That's actually not a bad idea. Does it also involve Gripples? Because that could also draw attention. Borky pulls up. Yes, Borky it could. Pulls out Gripples. 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 Speak to me. It has been some time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it really has been. Uh, I apologize, Gripples. It's. How you been? I've... <laughs> Why is Gripples it got a lot more... <laughs> Gripples got a lot more casual. It's... Right? It's, it's Tubbs. He's... He's missing. Just need me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fair, but I think would you be cool with having a plan? Borky's talking to the thing, and you're not hearing jack shit. Like, yeah, right. it, 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 Digsby's just blinking slow. Yeah, so what's yeah, happening? Oh, I'm gonna... You're watching as Borky is talking to like an obsidian oh. penguin. Oh, by, by the way, uh, by the way, uh, um, this is uh, this is uh, this is uh. Digsby, short for Digs, but his mates call him Digs. I'm one of his mates, so his name is Digs. Say hello to Gripples, Digs. Hello, Gripples. My name's Digsby. It's short for Digs, but my mates call me Digs. Yeah. I'll dig you a hole for 10 copper. You got 10 copper, Gripples? No. He's even got 10 copper there, but he appreciates the offer. Anyways. I'm cutting a, I'm cutting a slit in Hugh Man's chest for Gripples to be put in. <laughs> okay. We're gonna put you inside uh, the heart of. I Human. will say you would be you would be smart enough to know that when Gripples is activated, he gets bigger, so he gets the size of like a normal penguin. Oh no, that's even better because we'll put him inside, activate him, and then from out of nowhere, from inside what looks like a regular, so <laughs> penguin. Yeah. All right, guys. It... This is this is something else we could. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I, I have to say, it, you have to activate him and put him on the ground. Yeah. So you would have to activate him and put him inside, and then he would grow. So just a heads up on that. We, well, I actually have a solution to that. Okay. I could actually provide uh, some decent smokescreen cover while we get all that set up. So, so mm. we think we should get the drop on the two bugbears, lure them out, and send, and send them to Gripple's domain. Um, excuse me, what happens exactly when Mr. Gripple's gets used? Oh, he explodes. Uh, he, he, explodes. Yeah, he explodes. explodes really loud. Like... I mean... I'm... Your 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 the thing here only has one arm, right? <gasps> it does. It's missing oh. an arm. Borky just looks at Digsby, Digsby <laughs> which is short for Digsbert. His mates call him Digs, and just goes. Armsby like has a thumbs up too. Gripples. Uh, how long does it take to blow up? Just so Armsby can get safe. Gripples. How long does it take again? 
Um, I will say it out, out of character. Uh, once he reaches his target of what you aim for, he will explode immediately. Though he does have that, that 40% margin for error. So we need a contingency plan. Let me check my inventory, see if we have... Let's check our inventory. Uh, worst God. case scenario... Uh, ooh. Worst case scenario. Borky pulls out of the baddie bag holding... Uh, Borky tries trouble lifting it out. Uh, let's pick a place to set the trap, my human. At worst case scenario, arms me. Use this. And Borky pulls out the gong. <gasps> it's awesome. huge. It's 10 feet by 10 feet. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to hand pull that out. <laughs> I don't also, think, I don't think Armsby can hold that. Okay, I'll put it back. I can barely do it to myself. Ugh. I have, <laughs> I have a bear trap. You do. That would work. That would be a good thing. Even, hmm, they couldn't run. That's fantastic. It depends if it saves one or if it says if just a single bugbear goes, like it's okay. But if two go, it's different. Well, this could also draw out any others who want to hear snagged in the bear trap. Um, Digsby, question. Yeah? Do bugbears have any natural okay. enemies? I rolled a 19. Would I know this? I mean, they have enemies like anything else. Like a giant would have an enemy or even just regular goblins. I mean, I mean fight for probably character. It could, they... could be other bugbears. It could be anything, really. They're relatively intelligent. I think they kind of make up their own minds. Oh, I have, uh, <gasps> Ta oh my god. Oh my god. Task gives Bit Digsby 10 copper. I have a job for you. Oh boy, here I go digging again. Not yet. I have these. Task pulls out his net with the bear trap. Oh. Okay. You're going to make a pit. You're going to make a pit trap. Fuck yeah, I am. You clever son of a bitch. <laughs> just point and say. All right. We just got to. We. Uh, would I remember what street, like, or, like, which direction where they would go before they end up, like, seeing us? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you will. In fact, you know what I'm gonna do just to make this super easy for you guys because I'm nice? Give me one second here. To I was gonna out. say we find some sharp stones or carve us up some, some sticks and make a pit, like, a real big pit trap. Well, Borky kind of just whispers into Greckles. I have a backup plan, too. Why well, are my idea, Greckles? What's your backup plan, you know, Borky? you can make illusions, right? You know, you can do that. Right. What if you, like, made a, a beautiful girl, like a bugbear with lipstick and long flowing hair? Hey. You who, sailors? You who? Scroll. <laughs> Kurt, scroll down to the bottom left. Ooh, okay. Oh, hey. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. I'm sorry, I, I'm having trouble, uh... Ah, there it is. I got it. Uh, That's fancy. Uh, oh my god. I. Oh my god. <laughs> we went over this, Kurt. Damn it. You're like, I got it. I got it. I'm fine. I actually can't scroll down there. Uh, it, I, it... There's a there's a side scroller on okay, uh, between the, uh... the map and the journal. I'm trying to pan real fast here. I'm just. Uh... Use the uh, zoom out if you're having too much Yeah, I had, I had to zoom out and scroll down. Uh, that's what I'm trying to do real fast here. It won't let me actually zoom out on the... You have a mouse wheel? There there we go. Sorry, that took me a while. Uh, <laughs> there, there, there we go. I knew it. I knew it was uh, going to yes, happen. Yes, yes, yes. Talker versus technology. The age old... <laughs> this is an Aesop's fable. This is... I already know that my particular hell is I have to actually do IT and not know anything and just feel like an idiot constantly. That's that's my <laughs> that's my purgatory. All right. Well, well, here here's your scenario. You guys are undercover, uh, and you do have rainfall as well, so you do have something kind of covering your sound. So if you want to kind of plan, uh, like in this space, I will allow you to. But once you go past into this area. You're going to start doing cell checks. Real fast. Uh, just okay. for the people on the podcast, with, it's best to describe what we're doing here, guys, for this setting, too. Okay. It's basically there in front of ruins. There are three walls blocking the view of the bugbears who are currently guarding a drawbridge at the moment. You guys are behind one of the walls planning. All right. So we set, let, let's set up human, at least, and then set up the trap, and then we'll lure them out with noise, okay, at least. Gri okay, Gripples, 
I'm handing you off to Armsby. It's short for Armsby. His mate calls him Arms. You ag- You don't have many mates. Don't, not yet, but he's got Gribbles now. Borky, it like bequeathed. Come back to me, my lord. Kisses Gribbles on the head and hands him to Armsby. All right. Uh, the, the X is where I was setting up Human. Hello, Mr. Gribbles. Right, I'll put Human right there for you. Thank you. Also, whenever, whenever I would, can I do an intelligence check to see if uh, smoke cover would even be helpful? Uh, yeah, it's, go it's ahead. Just, it's just proximity. I'm not sure how well this would work out. That is a 13. Okay. With the rain, you could easily make it seem like a fog, like a no. natural looking fog. So you could probably actually make it work. That's good. All right, Digsby, we need that hole. Okie dokie. Um, he says, looking at Gripples. Um, it's gonna be relatively hard to dig. Uh, he was mind still holding Mr. Gripples for me. Green man. Yeah, he's, he's bulky, but no worries. He's bulky, he's just holding Gripples. Is is this a wall right here? Yeah, those are giant stone walls. Yeah, so oh. so we're we're just looking we're just looking to at least like get a pitfall trap around the vicinity so we can put the stuff inside. Okay, All right. Dig Give check. Me... Okay. Oof. It's hard ground. There's also other bits of wall inside. You're finding chunks of rock. Eh. Still take a little bit. Eh. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and have that rolling fog come in, and I'm gonna keep that concentration up. How long does it last? One oh, hour. Okay, yeah. So begin to kind of do a rolling fog. I'm gonna see if I notice it. <clears throat> Idiots! Wow, a six and a one. One of them just starts like like just like um, picking its nose. The other one's just kind of like cleaning its teeth with its weapon. It's got like a big <laughs> uh, great sword. It's kind of like cleaning its teeth, leaning back, cleaning its teeth. They don't notice the fog that's I'm rolling I'm guessing in. they don't get many visitors. No, probably not. All right. So we got us a hole? Uh, about, it takes you about 20 minutes. Uh, the rain holds. Rain. The fog, yeah. But eventually you do get a decent sized hole. It's about five feet deep about there. Give him his 10 copper, and let's set up this net and and a bear trap. Where do you want the hole? Where is the hole? 10 copper. Is it around human? Uh, yeah, I want the hole to be like around, oh shit, sorry. I like a donut, wrong. a donut of death? Like yeah, this. pretty much, like, so like. Like that? Yes. All right, so there's a hole kind of built, dug around um, human, and human is kind of sitting at his own independent little mini island in the center, yep. keeping him standing upright. And, yep, and we're gonna put, we're gonna make this a net trap because I have two nets. So I was hoping that I could at least like get this to be like in this whole circle. All right, while you're doing that, so you want to set... cover it with with the net. Yes. Okay. While, while while you're setting that up, I'll get arms B and Gripples set on Hugh Man. Yep. All right, there you go, arms B. You take you take care. And try not to get stuck in the or hole. He kinda, do we have kind of puts his, Do we have any other kind of puts his arm around him? Oh man, they grow up so fast. You know. They do. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so Gripples is now with Armsby and Human. Is there other cover behind us? Um you know like what? back back in this direction. Yeah, there's like a house you can hide behind. I don't have it drawn out on the map, but you, you can that's, that's hide fine. behind a piece of rubble. So okay. And there's one more thing. Uh now with that uh all in place. I'd like to put the bear trap here. Perfect. Yeah, absolutely. You chink, open that up and you set it down. I don't know where my stats for my bear trap is, though. You never gave me stats. You just told me I had a bear trap. I know I have stats for it. Just... Well, a, quick, a quick question, by the way. Uh, Porky also uh, does tell uh, Armsby, uh, tell Dig, Digsbert and uh, Armsby that he has to grab Gripples and bring him back. After okay. the, yeah, that's after, easy enough to articulate. After the explosion, Porky's like, yeah. Jesus, he doesn't go back to me magically. You gotta bring him back. You bring him back to me, saving Private Gripples. Okie dokie. Private Gripples. Oh now, Armsby, you take care of Mr. Gripples, and he'll take care of you. I hope. I'm just imagining two little kids going off to school. One's just a, a hand, and the other one's a porcelain penguin with red eyes. They weren't we very chatty it. with me. Ooh, it's actually, think, this thing is pretty mean, actually. I yeah, forgot about target, it. Talking to Borky, he weren't very chatty with me. Is he shy? Uh, yeah, I think. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, 
I normally All just right. think Borky's crazy. <laughs> you managed to have everything kind of set in place. Uh, the fog cloud, I'm going to say uh, intentionally, you're not making this thing obscuring because then you guys wouldn't be able to see what you're doing. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say you're kind of like like a like a fog machine on a theater. Like I you're would be, sputtering I would be putting, out. I would put the fog in this general area. Like oh, I would have it. Okay, please oh, okay. describe uh, what you're. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me let me explain. I was gonna try to have it roll in, like. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. That that works. That works. Not in the dead center going out. That would be. No, suspicious. that would be very obvious. No, no, that makes but, sense. Like rolling through here. You basically by doing that, you'd have fog cover just in this entry point because the wall would obstruct the rest. So you basically kind of have a fog over that way. Okay. But it's enough that you basically have, uh, you guys can see what you're doing. That's just so you don't take any penalties. Right. Yep. But, yeah. All okay. Right. It's all set up there. I'm assuming you guys are going to back up. Yep. We're going to hide and uh, we're going to need someone to act out. You could. You, um, you, you... I can, I can minor, I, no, I could just minor illusion something out vocally. But the question is what, what do we, what do we want human to be? We just want him to look like a basic human. Also, wait. Here's a good thing we didn't fucking do. This guy needs clothing, so when they go up to him, they at least time Z- to Zito, can you log thing. out and log back in, man? Oh, cocksucker. Hold on. He returns. All right, so we should at least give Hugh Man some clothing, so if they do notice him, they're not just going to see a porcelain man and think something's up. Borky puts giant sandal, pulls the giant sandals and puts them on. <laughs> <laughs> you put the giant sandals on him. Uh, I have I'm not going to make you guys check I, I have, I have you, you have time ropes. to prep. You want to throw yeah. robes on him then? Oh yeah, yeah, you have like the you have the pope robes. I mean, these I probably ain't getting these back, is I? Well, we'll see. Okay, okay how about could I silent image something over human uh, i'm gonna say no okay that'd be way too intricate that would be yeah way too intricate i feel i'll, I'll take out my holy vestments okay your hoketh holy vestments with a veil included very so terribly sorry you don him up he looks very regal very much like he would you know bury you in a grave just like old time eh yomsby Armsy like does that like you know where you do like a like a dog puppet like a shadow puppet and just turns to you, like whips okay. around. So so when uh, I I would assume you guys would let me yeah. minor illusion uh, a voice. I want no I want I want Taka to do it because I want it to be I want it to be salt. Uh, uh, okay I I I uh, uh, tell you what should he have a weapon so he's armed so they rush at him. Well, he's already holding a. a, a yeah, but, but what about the no? But no, but the other hand. What if we? I'll put a knife in his other he's hand. Got, he's got okay. a knife. <laughs> he does. He does have a knife. Your beautiful masterpiece. Your pope with a knife and a penguin standing around a donut <laughs> trap with a penguin <laughs> trap at the bottom. A dark, a dark Souls three boss. With, with yeah, giant, with giant little, sandals. With and, oh, a, oh. and fog included stands oh, actually, before you. Okay. I take it back. I'll, 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 let, let me let me actually try to. Oh, but I was quick. excited. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see. Oh, are we all, are we all behind? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you guys are all hiding. Alrighty. You blasphemous heretics. <laughs> okay. Just see if they ah! notice that. I'm gonna give them advantage. Oh yeah, they they hear it. Drive me closer. <laughs> I want to hit them with my sword. How <laughs> close so I might smite oh, me? Oh, rain, trying to cool my anger. Oh, for this, I do want you guys to roll initiative. Okay. Okay. Sigma. Oh, Sigma's name. <laughs> Oof. Okay, that's enough for 20 for the bugbears. Oh, snap. Okay, Nat so one for Borky. Yay. 19. Okay, Greckles. And then we have... Call out, call, Ooh, call out your rolls, lads. I did. Okay, I got 16. 23. Six. 19. Right, cool. And, okay, Dixby. And... My Sigma's eyelashes. Why the... And then we have 
panic, and then... By the she... engorged, loving warmth Borky... of Sigmar inside me. Borky, you forget that you're having a plan, so you get a little distracted by just, like, the rain. You're like, ooh, and then it's like, oh, right, Borky the plan. just loves this character uh... that Greckles has come up with. He's just immediately enamored by him. Okay. Hugh Mann, the cleric of Sigmar. Uh, the bugbear looks to the sound of the noise, and he is going to dash. I'm going to roll a perception check for him to see if he can figure out your guys' trap. That is a three. No. Cool. He runs right up to the trap. He does not take falling damage, but he trips and stumbles, flies headfirst into the ground. The <laughs> trap snaps. Let's see if I get out. I will give him disadvantage on this because he fell. That's a pass, and that's a failure. So, he takes... I want you to roll 1d4 points of damage, please. Sure thing! And let me grab my stats Three! Here. That's a nice three. three. Not bad. That is nothing to sneeze at. And he can't move! Ho, 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 so... Ho, ho, ho. We gotta make sure the other one gets in. Yeah, no, he... You hear a, a ka-ching noise! And this horrendous yell as he is trapped. The other one is going to rush around the corner to move his keep going. And Bor Borky just pokes, gre pokes Greckles. Keep going, keep going. And he brandishes his weapon, uh, which is a great axe. And he kind of looks side to side through the fog, not really knowing where his buddy is, and sees this horrendous silhouette of your guys' creepy pope. And... <laughs> Our arms, <laughs> arms, arms, arms is just gesticulating. Yeah, puts down the, he kind of sheaths the, the great sword and pulls out a javelin. He's going to throw a javelin at Hugh Man, oh. who has no dexterity Quick. modifier. Act in character. Act in character. Well, also, so, also, I'm, I'm sorry. Are, are, we, are we fluffing that the dude fell face first into the bear trap? Uh, no, he, like, fell. Damn. You, ever, you ever see someone go into a hole and, like, hit their chin on, like, the edge of it and then, like, yes. fall yeah, back? Yeah. Well, he totally went feet first, but he hurt himself on the way down. Okay, okay, I was about uh, to say, like, he went face first into the bear trap? That would be <laughs> awful. That would be terrible. <laughs> oh, so none can handle Bigfoot Pope. That, he doesn't hit <laughs> human. He misses. Oh, wait, no, he's got this advantage, too. Okay, yeah, no, he misses. He throws a javelin and it goes into the pit in here, but as it hits, you guys even see the javelin like fly through the fog as it lands. Uh, but he kind of stands his ground. You hear him kind of yelling out in, in, does anybody speak goblin Oh, Oh, he does. You speak goblin? I, oh. I'm pretty sure you just speak giant and orc. Always, oh, yeah, no, I chose a giant over, over goblin, sorry. Yeah, yeah. no, you, you hear him barking out, but you can't really make sense of what he's saying. That ends their that turn. Talk. Oh. Uh, that brings it to Greckles. It's your turn. <laughs> you fools! How easy you are smitten! <laughs> they don't understand what you're saying, but they hear the noise anyway. Uh, are you going to take any actions? I will. I will. Can I delay an attack? To you can hold. You can hold an action. Yeah. Yeah. I would. I would love to uh, delay a dart throw uh, okay. until the, until we have resolved the trap. All right, sounds good. That will be your held action. Uh, Task, it is now your turn. You watch as your your the bugbear comes running. You see his head. His head is about two feet out of the hole because he's about seven feet tall. Uh, but you hear him just screaming, and you hear the chains of your bear trap rattling as he is in deep, deep agony. Oh, oh what are you doing? Can I can I take the shot? I want to take the shot. <laughs> I you, wanna try and sh you want to try and shoot him? Do you want to shoot the guy in the the hole? Or are you gonna? I want to shoot the guy in the hole. Okay, yeah, you absolutely can. Because that, that, that adds my Colossus Slayer on top of it. It does, yeah. Brutal. All right, taking the shots at this boy. Hold on. As, his, as his head lifts up from the hole. <laughs> <laughs> 23! Uh, that, that hits, yep. One second. Rolls him bones. Bad. 10 points of damage, and now I get to take the second shot. Nice. Let me just write that down there for you. Okay. 27! <laughs> that hits. That absolutely hits. 16 and... points of damage, so that's 26 damage! Not bad, oh. not bad. So that's 16. Mm -hmm. that brings you where where to... tusks used to be in his jawline are now two arrows sticking out of his mouth. He has not tusks, but he does have some big teeth. You hit both shoulders, like, chunk, chunk, both <laughs> sides. Now a perfect coat rack. 
um, as he's squirming. He's now getting a little bit tangled in the net at the moment. I will say for the sake of that, the net and the bear trap can't overlap just because that'd be way too many uh, mm. checks at that point. But the other part of it is definitely open. Um, yeah, you managed to get a really decent- I, I tell Tarsk also to hold back. Okay, Tarsk is like ready to go and he just sits down on the wet grass. Uh, that takes up his turn. Uh, Dixby, it is now your turn. You have control of Armsby. Okay, well, Armsby is going to activate, uh, I, I assume he was taught how to activate Gripples and just yeah. put, him inside, put him inside Human as he was instructed. <laughs> He, uh, you take Gripples, and it is placed inside of Human, and Gripples whoosh, comes into form, the full penguin <laughs> cracking through Human, the little, like, top head of the mannequin pops and flies off as now the head of a penguin <laughs> wearing these vestiges, these hoke-head vestiges, now stares down. Grackle, gra Grackles! <laughs> Crack, can it just? Uh, oh. Now you face a true god. Uh, I need you to roll a d100 to see whether uh, Gripples succeeds or fails. You need to get over a 40 in order All for right. him to succeed. One d100. Roll a Reno. No. No, he fails. No. As as like the bug was like, which is funny because I was going to say comically. Digsby is, uh, Armsby is flipping him off right now. Yeah, as the bugbear is looking up at this horrendous feet, like figure crying, <laughs> like absolutely wailing, uh, the head disappears and just a puff of smoke comes out of the head. Still frightening, but no explosion. At, at which point Armsby just like kind of like lowers the finger slowly, turns back to everybody, <laughs> just kind of does its own version of, I don't know. <laughs> Just one hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, uh, meanwhile, Digsby is going to uh, cast. Do, do, do. He's going to bless. Nice. Who are you He's gonna bless? going to bless. Uh, let's see, Task, Borky, and uh, Tarisk. All right. Ooh. And Tarisk. Perfect. They, you guys feel blessed. Hashtag and blessed gives us the, the D4 like for attack, day. correct? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, nice. and, and on saving yeah. throws. So. I will say with Armsby, that takes your bonus action, just That's because fine. that was kind of intricate. But yeah, so you, you bless your companions. I assume you don't want to move. You just want to stay kind of where you are. No, I just I ready my shovel, though, with my other hand. All right, you pull out your shovel, kind of holding it aloft with your other hand there. Uh, that ends your turn. That brings it to panic. It is now your turn. You currently hear a bugbear crying. Human's head is smoking. <laughs> the plan's kind of working. Mm. Hmm. And I can't see anything past right here, right? You can see a silhouette. It's a thin fog cloud. Mm. And I, I assume I would be at disadvantage if I shot through that, right? Uh, you would have to reposition to shoot. Uh, so would I receive disadvantage? Uh, I'm going to say through that fog cloud, yes. Okay. Um, looking at what I could possibly do. Uh, uh, hmm. Ah, I know. So I should have battle music up. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, the calm rain feels weird. Uh, yeah, no, it's too, too relaxing. We ain't in no spa. We're in danger I'm, territory. I'm just checking the range on this. We're in bugbear country. <laughs> Ah, uh, perfect. <laughs> uh, Panic is going to yell at uh, this bugbear right back here. Okay. Fools, you can't defeat me. I am invincible. Invicious mockery. <laughs> okay. 
That's a that's a wisdom saving throw, correct? Uh, I believe so. I actually have a good modifier for that. Wait a minute, hang on. Da, 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 da. Fish is not great. There we go. This human plant strength save. Okay. That's okay. not right. That's a that's a not a strength save. That's a wisdom save. I'm hundred percent certain. Uh, that is an eight, so it fails. Um, it takes three points of psychic damage. And that has disadvantage on this next attack. Nice. Uh, its face just warples into terror. It's like confused. Its friend is screaming. It sees a, a pope without a head and <laughs> is kind of freaking out a little bit. Uh, things aren't good on the morale front. Uh, is there any, anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Uh, don't really see anything I could do. So no, I think I think that's gonna be my turn. All right. That brings it to you, Borky. You are feeling hashtag blessed. You hear screaming up ahead. You see that Gripples has failed and yet still looks pretty cool with the smoke effect. Mm. Borky has his hands in a namaste. Mm. I'm sorry, Gripples, the sacrifice was not worthy for you. Uh, I'm gonna... Borky's like just nodding, waiting. The guy's all like... Borky just goes... Mm. And there's that guy still down in the pit, ah, writhing in pain. Yeah, he is. He's not having Before a good time. Staying, he grabs a javelin and chucks it down. One of his spare javelins, not the lightning javelin, mind you, but uh, okay. the save him saving old faithful for some other time. Sparky just throws one of his regular javelins, and it's twenty-three. That absolutely hits. And eleven piercing damage. Not bad. Not bad. You manage to get him right in the core of the chest. It breaks through their armor, and they now have two arrows and one giant javelin in the center. It's becoming quite the masterpiece. Is he still alive? At this point. Oh, yeah, he's still alive, and he looks Borky, mad Borky, now. Borky's he's... starting to really feel bad, so Borky pulls out another javelin to try and put him out of his misery. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Sorry. I swear <laughs> bad. 18. Borky's grimacing. Oh, jeez, gotta put this at. You gotta end this. 11 points of damage again. Oh my god. <laughs> he is still alive. Oh, god, he's not. He's not dying. He's like, whispering. He's not. He's not dead. You throw the javelin and you hit him in, like, just below the other one, and it kind of, like, cracks and, like, tips forward. <laughs> As now he's trying to lean back so the end of the javelin doesn't impale him all the way through in the pit on the dirt mound where human is not Bor staying. Bor Borky is Excalibur facing right now and what's happening. Like, ah! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> just, just uh. Like, Borky's like, grr, pulling his, like, he, if he had a shirt, he'd be, like, pulling at his collar of shirt. Uh, uh, that ends Borky's <laughs> turn. Nothing personal. Why won't he die? The bugbear in the bear trap is going to attempt to break free. Um, quick question. Do I still get my held action? Uh, no one's come through, and I also uh -huh. got the dice. Uh, uh -huh. Tradition. Uh, no one's broken through that you've seen, because you said you're going to wait until the other one, like the trap failed I, or someone came out of the I, trap. Well, so was, we'll was, see I, what I, happens here with this roll, and then that will trigger your reaction. Okay. So you you can't, when you, when you hold an action, you have to say when you hold that action, what will trigger the reaction. If that doesn't happen, you don't get that action. Right. I, you I, can't I, change that. I, I said after the trap was sprung, like after after Gripple's resolve. I, okay. It's fine. I, it's fine. Don't worry it about, wasn't don't worry clarified, about. so no, no, we'll no, see it's after fine. this. It's fine. There are many tears to this trap at the moment, so. I know. It's, you're going to have to be a bit specific. It's like a four-tier right. plan here. Okay, that's And only three tiers worked. <laughs> yeah, he breaks free. He just barely breaks free. He gets a four. He gets a fourteen. Um, you watch as he goes down, and he you hear this horrible snapping noise as he takes his great sword and just breaks off the bear trap. Um, and he is going to use his movement to climb. He doesn't really need just to hop out of it. I'll say it takes five feet for him to get out, uh, and he is going to climb out. Uh, he is going to move over here. Actually, no, he's going to move back from Q-Man, because he's... Actually, let me see if he can figure out this disguise. Come he on. does, with a natural... Oh, no. <laughs> no, he gets up, and he as he gets up, he looks, he goes... <laughs> he gets really angry, and he runs back, notices all of you idiots hiding behind a shrubbery, 
and is going to get into range to throw his own javelin. He's going to aim it at you, Greckles. I know. Ooh, okay, that's a 13 plus 5. That's an 18 to hit you. Yeah, yep. Yeah, don't that'll you hit the, you. Don't you have the dodge thing? Yeah, that's why it's all good. Uh, so you take 10 points. Uh, oh, sorry. Hold on, hold on. Range. Sorry, I, re- I have to re-roll this. I did the close combat range. Okay, well, that's still gonna hurt. You take nine points of piercing damage. I use my reaction to Uncanny Dodge. Alright, uh, Uncanny Dodge uh, halves the damage, correct? That is correct. I don't know how it rounds, though. Uh, it rounds down to the lower number, so you take three points of damage rather than four. Yay. Okay. Uh, and then it is going to grab another javelin and throw oh. it at you. Uh, I have a question. Wasn't he mocked? He was. No, that was the. Oh other wait, one. no, that was yeah. the other one. The other one. Oh, was okay, one. that was the other dude. Yeah. My, my bad, my bad. You got me. I looked up and I was like, oh wait, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, like I, I played myself. Don't worry. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, he's gonna go for another attack. Javelin throw. That is a nine plus five. That's a fourteen to hit you. That misses. All right, you step back as another javelin. Like, the tongue goes right close between the legs and just barely misses. So is he doing this while impaled with javelins? Yeah. Yes. That's a badass right there. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Oh, no, I that was I want to imagine he's idea. pulling out Borky's javelins and throwing them. Yeah, he threw it back! <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, that will end its turn. The other bugbear now, uh, actually, is a free action. It's probably going to call for its friend. Oh, dog, pull that! And the other one uh, is going to come through the fog cloud. Hubba hubba zoot zoot. And I'm going to see if it gets fooled by uh, Human. Because it's. That's. Oh my god. Okay, that's a 19. So he's not fooled by Human anymore. They're very clearly oh. aware of what's happening. Do I get my held uh, action? Yes, you can get your held action on this guy. Now that the trap has kind of fall, failed, uh, you can throw a dart to whichever bugbear you wish that is within range. Um, the, I'm going to. Hang on a second, I gotta make sure it's a 60. Where's my ruler? There's my ruler. Yeah, he's in range. Um, I'm gonna see if I can finish off the boy that uh, is looking bad. So, Kia! That is, ooh, no, that's a natural That's nat- a one. natural no, one. Human. You, boy. <laughs> you fling your dart and you hit human and he topples over forward into your guys' net trap, uh, right into where the bear trap would have been. Doesn't Can't. break him, he just falls over and arms be flops. Into the net. I can't fucking believe Humon is dead. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's kind of exploded a little bit too. He's got charm marks. He's kind of, kind of. On fire a is bit. a murderer. <laughs> hey, at uh, least I hit that and not panic. The dart's gone too. That dart's long oh. gone. Uh, <laughs> but you do hit Human. Human takes a whopping. I don't know how much damage he doesn't Betray. really matter. He, 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 he takes <laughs> quadrillion damage. Seven damage. Human is dead. He's dead. <laughs> He takes seven points of betrayal damage. Yeah, exactly. New damage type. At least he's uh, already in a hole. He is, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I, that takes up your action, so you can't do anything else when you take your the reaction. Humanity. So. Uh, but the bugbear now with, with the dart, and now human fully slain the bugbear with, with confidence. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's gonna aim for you, Task. Oh no! Seeing the bright red, like a bull. Oof, that's a 17 plus 5, so that's a 22. <laughs> of course that's Oh it. wait, he's got disadvantage. Because of vicious mockery. Uh, that is a 9 plus. That brings him up to a 14. Does that hit you? No, that does not. Uh, he angles the shot, and then he's like, wait a second, but was the voice actually coming from this guy, or was it coming from <laughs> one of them? Gets a little nervous and misfires. Uh, and then he kind of shakes it off. He's like, wait a second, because it only affects the first attack, correct, Sneak? Yeah. Okay. He kind of shakes it off. He's like, wait a second, no. This is a, this is not real. I'm better than this. Yeah. <laughs> he, starts, he starts thinking about his, like, inspirational cat poster in his room, like, hang in there. And uh, he's going to go for another javelin throw. Oh, Christ. Okay, that's a 19 plus 5. So that's a, that's a 24. That's hitting, yeah. That absolutely hits. Um, okay, oof. That is seven points of piercing damage. 
as you are hit right in the core center of your chest with a javelin. Oh, good! That ends his turn. Uh, Greckles, it is now your turn. Oh, God, well, I guess this... I guess that backfired. All right, so... Could... With darts being thrown weapons, can you throw two in one turn and then have... A, could I have that bonus action to dash behind Borky? Uh, the bonus I'm, action I'm not... would be the second throw, I'd say. Oh, okay, okay. No, I just, yeah. I didn't know, I didn't know how to... Okay, in that case, I'm going to give a zip-zip over to that same boy. Okay. Gotta go yeah. fast. Gotta go fast, and that's an 18. That hits. Yep, yeah. that's a 9. That's a 9. Uh, you hit him again. Oh, was that guy's calculate damage here. You hit him right in the ear. He gets like a dart piercing. He's like, Rrr. Rrr. looks good on ya. Hides behind Borky. <laughs> Borky's yeah. just like, why will he die? He won't die. <laughs> <laughs> they're very hardy. They look like they're they look tougher than orcs. That's Borky. not they're true at all. They're thick boys. They're orc goblins. That's Borky. not true. That's impossible. Uh, task uh, or Greckles? I assume that ends your turn. Yeah, I just, I just ducked between, I just did a little slide underneath Borky. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Task, it is now your turn. Uh, you have a javelin in your chest at the moment. <laughs> I want to believe it is actually. I imagine, I imagine Ace Ventura. <laughs> yeah. Three targets to a bot. <laughs> ah! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm still going to take pot shots at Boyo, who's still hurt. Uh, who's yeah, hurt he, he's bleeding out really Wait a minute, right fuck now. that! I have Hail of Thorns! Oh, I'm okay. hitting both of these fuckers! Alrighty. Alright. So... So, you next time I hit a feel your arrow, as you cock the arrow into your bowstring, you feel the energy, the magic energy, coursing through your fingertips. All right, so I gotta hit the guy first, so. Uh, it's in with, within five feet of him, though, so you would have to aim. Can you do that? An additional, if that'd be uh, the spell rate. Sorry, I'm just reading here. Yeah, uh, yeah. Target attack, and each creature within five feet of it must make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna hit. Him. If it's not gonna hit him, then I'll. Yeah, I don't I'll think it's gonna hit him because it's gotta be within five feet of the target. So. All right, well, all right, fuck it. Hunter's it's good. Mark. It was a good idea. Sorry, I just want to be fair because I don't want. Yeah, yeah. Hunter's, Hunter's you, mark. Could, so not just the metagame. Just... Could you not aim between them? It has to. Uh, hit a it has okay, to hit a target. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay. You want a hunter's mark him? Who do you well, want a hunter's mark? Um. Well, yeah. Let's hunter's mark the boy who uh, is taking the most damage. I'm gonna throw a hit on him. Okay. Let's go. 21. That absolutely hits him. All right, so that cool. is 14 plus my Hunter's Mark. Jesus. Which is one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, you, 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 the little blinking, like, murder this guy, murder this guy, appears above his head, and he looks up, he goes, Hurr! and as he's looking up, you just let loose the air, and he goes right through his eye, and he just stumbles back and falls over. Now to hit his friend. Him. Dead. <laughs> now to take a pot shot at his buddy. And as an action for killing the man, I could pass Hunter's Mark onto him. Uh, could you click Hunter's Mark for me? Sorry, I just want to have that on, on screen for myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Uh, uh, if the target drops your hit points with the spell ends, you can use a bonus action. You just used a bonus action to cast it. So. All right. Well, yeah, you can't. It. Hit him. 21. Uh, that hits. That absolutely hits. That's 14 damage. Nice. That brings him down. And I will use my free action to tell Taurus to sick him. All right. It is now Taurus' turn. He is going to dash. Uh, like, oh, wait, what's his movement? Hold on. Nope. Yeah, he can dash. He actually, no, he can. Hmm. How smart is he gonna be? I don't know. Oh, oh that's, that's, that's dangerous. Smart. He's smart. He's gonna he's gonna maneuver closer, but he's not gonna get into combat range because he's not an idiot. Thank God. Uh, that ends his turn. Digsby, it's now your turn. The plan plan appears to be falling apart a little bit, but one of them's dead, so. It's okay. I'm gonna see if Armsby can crawl over to him real quick. All right, I'll use NPC token as uh, Armsby. Sounds good. 
Arm speech <laughs> runs across. Let me grab arm speech stats here. Here we go. I got his stats up. I'm a fucking crawl. He's, he's gonna give him a turtle claw attack. Turtle claw attack. All right. Let's see if you can hit him. Yeah. Uh, for damage this this, this will take your 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 action though as well. Oh, uh, I thought arm speech was supposed to be like a familiar. Uh, no. I'm treating him as part of you. Oh, okay. Because that's, that's a benefit for, like, a, a, a wizard or a warlock. Okay. So. Yeah, this, is the, this is the first time we've actually played him in battle, so. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this, to be perfectly honest. Me neither. Okay. But, oh well, let's see how it goes. Uh, do you want to use your action to do the claw attack? Never mind, then. Yeah. Uh, Never I'm, mind. I'm going no? to use okay. my action to, uh, do, 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 do. Sorry. It's all right. Uh, lay on hands on Task, who's, uh, got that javelin sticking out of him. <laughs> you, you, you touch him, and as you touch him and you heal the wound, the javelin yeah. boop, 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 lands on the yeah. ground. Uh, how much, how many hit points did you lose? Uh, seven, I believe. Yeah, you got him back. Radical. Okay. <laughs> huh. Let's be gone. Okay, so that takes your action. Do you want to do anything for a bonus action? Um... Can I use you my extra what? attack as a bonus action? You know what? For you know what? For for giggles, I want to see how this goes. Do you want to do the claw attack as a bonus action? Sure. I'll allow that. Because it's not, it's not you know next level damage, <laughs> but it could it's, be. It's fun. like it's like a D four plus whatever. Yeah, it is, it's like, like nothing. Punch him in the kneecap. Take that! <laughs> Just punch him in the back. Roll this back and pretend you're a spider. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, nineteen plus three. So it's a twenty-two. Go, Ormsby. Armsby, you watch as he leaps off the form of human, grabs the bugbear by the neck, and begins to Fuck. choke him. <laughs> <laughs> Takes three points of damage, and the bugbear's just, like, surprised. He's like, eh? What the fuck? As his trachea is currently being grabbed and scratched at by this rabid turtle hand. That's pretty good. Yeah. Not is bad. That technically a grapple? No. Okay. It's, uh, Armsby's a bit too small for that. Yeah. Um, but he does kind of have the bugbear's attention at the moment he is engaged. So for sneak attack, it's kind of handy. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Uh, speaking of which, Panic, it is now your turn. Panic's gonna reposition himself to the side of Task, and he's gonna be a little, he's gonna look at the last remaining bugbear, and he's gonna be like, Oh, you should have stayed inside. Now you're in so much pain. Vicious mockery. Okay. A gag. A <laughs> gag. <laughs> also, I believe I fixed Vicious Mockery, so let's see. Hey, yeah. you did it. Uh, he also fails, fails the saving throw, so he takes the full damage, and he I'm has rolling disadvantage. rolling shit on damage for that tonight. He, uh... <laughs> well, D4, you're rolling average. Yeah, it's not bad for a D4. Um, he, uh, the bugbear, like, hears you say that. He, like, looks up to the rain and looks at you and goes, yeah, duh, it sucks out here. Like, damn it. <laughs> My friend's dead. <laughs> My friend's dead. Man, Charlie's dead, man. Like, come on. Um, that, uh, do you want to do anything else on your turn there? Um, I, I look over to, uh, Task and Greckles. Are either one of them still hurt? No, um, I, I got healed I up. I got knocked down by. Wait. Ah, uh, five points. I mean, I'm okay right. for now. Uh, then. Uh... I will use my action, or I'll use my bonus action to uh, Bardic Inspiration on Borky. Hey. Yeah. Borky, you feel inspired and blessed. Oh, Cripples bless. Namaste. Human stay. Uh, Borky, it is now your turn. Mm. Borky per wonders. He per he's perplexed. He sees in the distance, in the fog, the uh, <laughs> arms me just choking the shit out of a giant goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Borky wants. I'm gonna. It's like punching Armsby, like trying to. It's punching its own neck, trying to like free itself. Now here's a question. Now Very the range I have. The revenge of I can, human. Now, the uh, area in which I'm running up to is 40 feet. Now, it's kind of like half the hole, half not the hole. If I wanted to run and suplex him into the hole, 
your movement at the moment, I believe, is no, 30 it's, feet. It's 40. It's 40. Oh, okay, it's 40 yeah. now. But it's half, um, it's half you... and half, though, right? So. Let me grab the trap here. Thank you for grabbing the uh, trap here. I have to look up the trap here. I will wait while you look up the trap here. My you spear, spear of make... magic helmet. My spear of magic helmet. Um, you would have to make a saving throw to go through that. To, to like balance um, for the soup, and then I just do a grapple check for a suplex. Yeah, you'd have to do a grapple check, yeah. But is it worth it for style? Yep, Borky cracks his neck because I also have the Bless and the Bardic Inspiration. I got two. That's Borky true, does. just stops. He imagines Gripples in his mind, and like Ryu starts summoning his chakra key. And Borky uh, just zooms forward. Borky. Oh, God. And Borky. I need you to roll a uh, dexterity check. Or actually, hold on one second. Uh, yeah, dexterity check. I'll make it a dexterity because you're trying to run through it. So let's say you're trying to like, use the ropes to bounce or something like a, like a wrestling ring. Uh, 12, but I'm going to use my bardic inspiration to add 4 to that? Or do I have to roll? Uh, bardic ex- you can use bardic you inspiration for checks. D8 for that. Yeah, you roll a yeah, D8, D8 for bardic. Uh, mm-hmm. 8! Nice. nice! 20! You go, and then you as you turn, you see panic giving you the thumbs up like the best <laughs> friend. You, you jump off of that rope. Oh. Uh, and you should do a athletics check for the grapple. Athletics check for the grapple. We could do that. Oh, Cody. I have no idea what's going on anymore. <laughs> and 23. Okay, I'm going to do an athletics check for the bugbear to see if he gets out of the grapple. Where's your strength, buddy? You're not bad. That is an 18. He fails. Borky. <laughs> While the bugbear is distracted, Borky grabs around the bugbear and suplexes him into the pit. Okay. From the uh, top rope. <laughs> roll 1d4 and add your strength modifier. 1d4 and my strength. <laughs> Which is 5, I believe. Roll high, son. Yes, dad. That's high. <laughs> wow. Okay. Plus 5. That's 7. You sick you? fuck. 4 you plus 7. Fuck. No, 4 plus 5. That's 9. Oh, yeah, it is 9. So sorry. I'm dumb. I can't do math. He's not raging. Yeah. No, you're not raging. Uh, you grab him and you sort of like, you don't get him in the hole. You do not get what? him in the hole. He actually kind of counterweight and swings. And that's when you realize he too is a user of the suplex. You manage to crack him down. Um, I will say that breaks, uh, actually, no, nah, I'll be nice. He doesn't break the grapple. Uh, but you two are currently arm in arm right now fighting. And he's still got arms be like dangling like a necklace, I'm, currently trying so to So he's not being suplexed. He's been suplexed. He's just gotten up oh, from no, the suplex. Oh no, he's, he's at this maintaining. Point. You just oh my god, him. He, you germined him and you rolled through. Oh my through. god, he's maintaining wrist control. Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling German suplex. It's a suplex duel. It is. Uh, that ends your turn. It is now his oh, turn. No. He is going to attempt to. Uh, whoa, he's going to try attempt to break the no. grapple. Uh, where's his strength modifier? That is a natural no, 20. He's, oh, Jesus. He suplexed wow. me! Wow, he's going to break the grapple, he's going to grab you, and he's going to attempt to suplex oh. you. Oh, no, the no, tide's no, 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 no. <laughs> That is a 16 plus 3, that's a 19 to hit okay, you. Okay, so, yeah, well, well, well that's a grapple me, but I do have Bless still. Don't I have to roll, like, an athletics check to try? That's... Uh, he's doing an attack right. on you. Oh, that's he right. Broke he your grapple. He's gonna. He's basically gonna punch you in the no, face. No, he's gonna suplex. Okay, so yeah, that hits. For flavor, he's gonna he suplex yeah, he you. Gets he's me. not gonna grapple you. Yeah, I don't even know how to make this work, and I'm sure someone's gonna yell at me for it. But whatever, <laughs> I don't care anymore. I can't at this point. You're super. At, at this point, control is far gone. Okay, well, he gets a four plus three, so that's seven points of damage as you get suplex back oh, in return. No. <laughs> suplex city. <laughs> so, 
Uh, that yes, ends his turn. Two. Oh, actually, he has a secondary attack, uh, but I'll just say because he suplexed you, that'll take up his secondary attack. Um, that ends his turn. Now it is now Greco's, it is now your turn. You're watching two giant idiots suplexing each other in rapid what? succession. What, what in the hell am I on the neck of my bug bear? What in the hell am I supposed to do? Okay. Um I could bonus dash action dash over to him, but I can't would would I be able to get sneak on him since he's Yeah, he's very occupied. He's got he's got Armsby and he's got Borky currently totally engaging him at the Gre moment. Greckles explodes in a Naruto in a Naruto esque run of blue and black blur feathers, and uh, cautiously <laughs> tries to tries to get in that good old scary ass dagger stab. Yeah, you do. It's all good. <laughs> there, they, every you know I'm gonna say it right now. Every time you finish a like a suplex, I'm gonna say it breaks the grapple immediately. Oh really? Because. Yeah, because if not, it's going to get too complicated. I'm just going to say from now on, every time there's a suplex, that immediately okay, ends so the that, grapple. So that's a German suplex without maintaining control. Got it. Okay, so just writing that down. <laughs> yeah, just if I don't even know. Or we'll have to come up, I'm going to have to come up with solid rules for this <laughs> at this point. Okay, so that's that's that, that's yeah. uh, a, a total of 60 feet. After I attack, I'm going to move 20 feet back this way. All right. Because I'm just going to make that one attack. If you hit him. Yeah! That is a 14. <laughs> That does not hit. You run up and your blade, your acid dagger stab, just glides off of his armor on the back of him. And I'm not technically flanking him, right? Nope, you're not. Okay. You completely miss. I don't even know what to do anymore. So I'm just... <laughs> what is going on here? Is it just... uh, if you're moving out of his space, he does get a reaction on you because you no, did not hit him. No, you didn't hit him. It's, mo it's, either, it's, either, it's either attack or not. As long as I make the, the attempt on him, let me. Oh, is it? Click on yeah, it. Yes, double it check that. Double check that. Wait, nope, that's not. Uh, <laughs> mobile. Sorry, sorry. Target cannot be uh, hit or not. Oh, okay, yeah. Then you're good. Yeah, you run out. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but he does. He doesn't take any damage. I'm afraid. Uh, no, no, does that no. ends your turn. Yeah, that's that's. that's Task. Right. You're watching stupidity. <laughs> so just 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 imagine the fucking Indiana Jones scene where he's watching the guy dance around with the sword. He just pulls out a gun. <laughs> uh, that hits. That hits. Twelve <laughs> plus eight. That's twenty points of damage. Let me do uh, you shoot him in the shoulder. He staggers back, shakes his head. He's still up. Hunter's mark. Okay. He's uh. Yeah. You shift Hunter's mark. Bonus action. Yep. And second attack. Okay, move it off that guy. Currently are oh, this guy. Oh, the dice are in my way. 26. That the the current people who are members of Suplex City are uh, a hag who's dead, a rat, uh, <laughs> Starlight, <laughs> and now this bugbear. Yeah, you task uh, as work. Yeah? Hold on, I was going to add Hunter's Mark. Oh, it didn't matter. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. One, hooray! Yeah. Uh, as like the bugbear takes the first shot, and he like Borky games for another suplex. The bugbear has to choose between you or Borky, and he chooses Borky. And as he does, you are like perfect, and you let loose that shot, and it goes right through his mouth, oh. and he slumps back oh. dead before you can even see. I just leg a list of fucking troll. Yeah. <laughs> Steady on, guys. We don't know if there's gonna be more. I am immediately gonna hug that wall and try to peek around the corner. Okay, you're fog cloud at this point. I'm gonna say it's yeah, gone. yeah. I would. Yeah. Let's move the bodies. I know where to put them. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, oh, there. Arms, arms be as traumatic as the experience was. Like hops off the neck of the bugbear and just scuttles out and reattaches to your arm. Good boy. Um, human, human is in disrepair. He is destroyed thoroughly. But uh, also that the robes. Bag, that was very rude. The, the robes are gone as well. So human oh. and and the robes are the casualties of Real. war in Real this fight. fight. What about, uh, are any of the nets or the bear traps salvageable? Bear traps broken. Uh, it looks like the bugbear broke the, the mechanism that actually like snaps, uh, but the nets are completely salvageable. They, they are not damaged at all. I will take the two nets then. Yeah, uh, Digsby's gonna roll them into uh, the hole. Okay, do they, you uh, want to lose them first? Gra Borky yeah, grabs let's... gripples too, by the way. Yeah, you grab gripples. He's good. Um, 
let me let me uh, stealth. Actually, I'm gonna stealth around over here. And um, can I actually Are do an you... official roll? Do I have enough cover? To perception stealth. check or stealth? Uh, yeah, just... yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. First to stealth. That's a big thirteen. And then yeah, I'm just keeping an eye out for anything else that might be. Coming. All right, yeah. roll roll a perception check. Please be good. That's a twenty-one. You don't see anything. Okay. Just rain. All right, I'm, I'll, keep, I'll keep watch, though. All right, so on the bugbears, uh, both of them are wearing uh, chain shirts, which are really gross and not very salvageable. They probably won't sell for very much mm -hmm. if you were to sell them. Uh, a very crude great sword, a very crude great axe, none of which would probably be worth very much money. You do find two daggers of decent quality, three javelins, which remain, uh, a bronze uh, pentacle, which I have no idea what that is, uh, with an etching of a rat skull in the center, and a silver case with uh, with etched words on it, which is closed at the moment. It, it has engraved goblin in it. A uh, pentacle is a small amulet. So think like a okay. little badge that Doctor Strange has on his uh, cloak. Gotcha, yeah. yeah. So you got that, and it's like shaped like a rat's skull. Oh. Yeah, the great horned rat. Um, I I'm going to ritual, I'm going to ritual detect magic on both of these. Okay, you detect yeah, well, the magic on either of them. After you guys strip the corpses, I'm going to start burying them. Yeah, you just yeah, start yeah, dumping yeah. the holes in the body takes me. They smell really bad. Like, even with the rain, like, they smell like, like, really severe wet dog. It is, it is not good. Like, almost actually more like a wet, like, um, bovine animal, like a cow or, like, some sort of buffalo. Like, very musky. Gross. Uh, I managed to dump them down. Uh, as you ritual cast panic, you detect no magic on either of these items. We can sell them hmm. for money when we get back to town. Uh, did you want to open the silver case? Hey, uh, real quick, before we completely bury these boys all together, I want to roll a survival check to see if I can get some teeth okay. or something of, the ma of something of that sort. I will say survival disadvantage. Okay. So you're not really animals. Hey, who mons? 19. Okay. You managed to get uh, four, um, four bugbear canine teeth, like the actual fangs. Sick. I will also ritual um, comprehend languages and read the read the goblin on. Uh... It says dreams on it. And Quirks of Brown slowly opens it. Uh, inside appears to be a very detailed drawing of the bugbear you killed and who you assume is his oh. girlfriend <laughs> wearing oh. a dress. That's so sweet. <laughs> yeah, dude. Sporky grabs the grabs the pitcher and throws it in the hole. Respect. <laughs> but you uh, you uh, you, mer uh, you merely you merely came to the suplex. I was boarding to it. Nice try. Hasta uh, la fuck you. Okay. Let's take okay. a break. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, 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 what is this gray, by the way? Is that just like different stone? Floor? It's, it's like a stone floor. It, okay. it appears to be kind of the skeleton of an old building. All right, real quick. Okay. We're, we're, real we're gonna quick, take a break. Guys, some fit callouts. I need to do grab some water. probate. I'll be right back. With another. <sighs> probate with another three thousand bits. Probate with another 3,000 bits earlier. 30,000, I mean. My God. My God. 30,000 bits again from Probate Sean Goku Satsu. <laughs> Oz underscore 19. Like, Probate, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much for the 30,000 bits, dude. Like, you made me cough my coffee into my mug. God damn. Uh, Oz. Uh, 19, 195, 5,000 bits. The gong, Shamrock. The gong, Shamrock. I pitched it, but I don't know if it took. But thank you so much for the 5,000 bits, Oz. Bloomer Bagel, 5,000 bits for our Dark Lord Gripples. All hail Gripples, 5,000 bits. <laughs> Yikes. I S Nightshade, 500 bits. Why do I imagine Gripples of having the same voice as, uh, as that narrator from the Littlest Penguin game? Oh, shoot. Damn, that's creepy. Damn, that's creepy. Uh, Nick Calego, 42, thank you for the, thank you for the sub. Uh, Diluna, thank you for the five-month resub. Uh, Skullfire, thank you for the 24 bits. 
Uh, Simon the Pyro, 100 bits. Thank you so much. Uh, Viridian Winter, thank you for the 513 sub. Always late to the stream, but still worth every damn second. Caveman0803, thank you for the sub. Jack Jumbo, thank you for the 500 bits. Fi 50 bits. Arapan, thank you for the 500 bits. I have to sign up for the night, but I'll definitely catch up tomorrow. 500 bits, thank you so much. Eric Zahn, 200 <clears throat> bits. Dirty Dreams. Sage, the Om... Uh, Omni Geek. Omni Geek. Uh, 1,000 bits. More brosis duet. Yes, Robo Bits for Oriara. All hail Oriara. Uh, Sam Everett. Uh, well, four month resub. Thank you so much, Sam Everett. Emon Tizzle, 5,500 bits. Cheers for the Suplex King and his lesser compatriot. Oh. You know what? You're here. I'm here. Let's do this! Le Jake! 20,000 bits! I've waited for this day for so long! But I have finally done it! My limit has been broken! And I ascend to the throne! Pizza guy payday! The works times! Two! 20,000 bit bomb and all! Hail the new bit boss! Flitjack! Eric King W! Thank you so much for gifting that sub to Grint200. Thank you so much. And I'm now good. Lejack's <laughs> well, reign mm. ended! And. <laughs> Lejeg crisis is set. Finally, after all this time, I am on the throat. Ah! And then probate hits a button, and the throne just appears. You hear a flaming sound. Ah! And the and the throne comes back up with smoke and a crispy skeleton that falls off. And probate just goes. Whew. He falls off the chair, and probate sits back down. Probate with thirty five. Thousand bits. My chair. Ha! <laughs> Probate. T last sitting back upon his throne. <laughs> Simon the Pyro, 500 bits. Just a small blow to probate today. I must rest and recover from last week and gather energy for a grand technique on planet's scorching scale. Steal yourself, lest it see as your soul merges back into the shadows. Oh. My goodness, I'm gonna go back and go to the bathroom real fast. Oh. Mm -hmm. hmm. I'm back. <laughs> hey, hey. Aww. Oh no. Oh no, Shwoogan. What did he do? Oh, what did, everything. What, 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 what did Shwoogan do? Everything. God damn it, now I gotta go look. Oh. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look. <laughs> you could send Tarsk. No! Also, did you guys see uh, Nutcase drew probate using payday? <laughs> no. I'll post it in the Discord for you guys. Oh dear. Ba boom. Aw, it's cute. Oh, Aww. it's so cute. That is adorable. I'll post it in the chat as well. <laughs> oh my god. And it's perfect too. <laughs> I hope you guys are having fun. I'm having fun. It's getting a little weird, but... <laughs> yeah, I, I, I feel like I'm going to get torn asunder for that, but I don't care at this point. There, I don't even know how any of to make any of that work, I'm sure. I'll have to hey. figure out a canonical way to make it work. Like I, uh, well, like I've told lots of people, are the players having fun? If the answer is yes, I, who cares? I, I, 
then you're yeah, doing it. Uh, DM's word is law. That's just how it got to be. Real fast, uh, by the way. I'm back now. Yeah, real okay. quick. I'm just going to quickly do the last little bit, shout, a bit call out to real. Glitch 5000. Task us the helicopter hand languages. Can you guys please remember that? <laughs> Passive aggressive? Yeah, um, I'm not going to promise it's anything. Okay. <laughs> even though even though I just heard it, it just went in one ear and out the wait, other. Wait, wait, what's that? Wake has shock gloves? <laughs> what, really? Oh, well, yeah, that's has oh, magical fuck, yeah, that's right. Boots. Hmm. Someday, the greatest escape will happen. <laughs> Holy shit, when did that happen? Oh, wait, no. No, oh, it's okay. Gl glitch, five, glitch 5000. Thank you so much, though, for the reminder. And, okay, okay. Thunder King 8, 1000 bits. Probate, please. We are just poor boys. <laughs> Probate, please. <laughs> Please! It just kicks at the, the, the wretch on the ground. Away with thee! Oh, I know he wouldn't. He's a very nice guy. Poopas a monkey, 500 bits. Probate needs to he dust. drown them in generosity while they're on the ground. Oh, I thought you just said drown them. Probate, I was like, whoa, Landon! Probate, probate needs what? to dust his throne <laughs> off pretenders every now and then. 500 bits. <laughs> Melon Ninja, we be under attack by the bit beard. Probate! <laughs> Bit beard, <laughs> bit beard, the pirate. Oh man, wait. Oh, I should be using my extra life dice. You should be. Bit beard, the yeah. booty master. And Sutoto, two month resub. Heyo. Heyo. There already is one. It's Hi, my man. personal channel's emote. <laughs> Probate sits there cackling. <laughs> By the way, probate. By the way, er, right, earlier yes. probate. Uh, Goomba and myself were playing Vermintide, and probate was being dragged off into the shadows by a bunch of rats. But we saved him. With Yay! It just took a little bit longer because it got pulled around. It's true. They almost. But, but anyways, uh, I guess we are gonna get back. You guys are really bad bodyguards. What does he it's, pay you we, for? He's, he, he, <laughs> I mean, he was playing dwarf. Look! Look! Well, Lenny. We're we're entertainers. We're not but we're we're not we're not bodyguards. You give one or the other. <laughs> I mean, that was kind of my last job. <laughs> when was the last time you entertained me, Goomba? <laughs> oh! oh! Let's play. Uh, <laughs> oh my! Pro All right, at you, Digsby, I assume. Or, I, 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 I'm sorry, just, snake I just, back. I just, I just, I'm good. I just, I just imagine <laughs> Probe is like I was entertained by him once. <laughs> <laughs> I was me, just. I, I'm. I'm done throwing shade. I'm good. Let, let me. Let me. Let me. I just. I, I just need to do a duck whistle. Oh snap! Hold on. Oh, oh snap! Oh god! Oh, uh, Greckles has officially been heckled. Let's continue on. <laughs> uh, snake here though. We need to make sure Snake's here. Yeah, snake? I'm here. Okay. Hello. All right. So you guys. I assume Digsby, you bury the bodies. Yep. Uh, yes, they are thoroughly buried. The hole is all covered up and everything's all nice and tidy. In the 20 minutes it takes you guys to do that, as well as identify those items, uh, nothing shows up. Uh, nothing happens. So, seems like the coast is clear. Oh, by the way, uh, real fast, uh, who's taking the, that, that stuff we just got off the... Yeah, who's taking what here? Probably you. Oh, I'm, out, I'm out of space on my so, fanny pack. Dig, uh, Digsby will actually take a few javelins. He has absolutely no range. All right, so can we get, can we just give a comprehensive quick list of what we all got again? Uh, you got two chain shirts, which are yep. not in good condition. Uh, a great sword, not in good condition. A great axe, not in good chain condition. Shirt. Two daggers. Three javelins. Uh, bronze pentacle. I'm and guessing Borky I got the javelins he threw oh, yeah. back. Uh, yes. Uh, I got two chain shirts, great sword, great axe. Great two daggers. Axe. Two daggers. Sorry. I'm bad at taking. You got three new javelins, which I think Diggs be wants. You want these, you want these mm -hmm. javelins? I've always thought I'd love to try throwing something. There you go. Something. Barky just puts them in his hands. Okay, oh you have boy. three javelins. Uh, what kind of damage do they do, just so I can add them to uh, an attack? It's a D8, isn't it? I can actually just grab them for you. I will do that oh, for you. That'll work. Wow, yeah, that's happening. To... Do uh, do any of you guys mind if I yeah, take go a for radical? It. Radical, I'll take that. I... Okay. Rat, rat pentacle. I panic. Do you want to yeah. take the 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 jewelry box so you can put your pretty jewelry in it? What's the jewelry box made out of again? Uh, it looks like silver. Oh, I'll take, yeah, I'll take it. I'll probably oh, sell right. it. Oh, you, honestly, you could make a belt buckle out of it and be like, open my belt buckle. It's just a picture of you. They say a picture's worth a thousand words. Yeah, dead work. 
I'm going to roll a stealth check to move in. Okay. And we who nice. 24. Yeah, you get like you're like Metal Gear Solid. You're kind of crouching like you're doing the Skyrim stealth thing where you got your bow on your side. And oh, yeah. Is going to stealth with you. All right, so I want to move in here. Oh, yeah, he's good. It's 15 plus. Where is your dicks? Okay, it's so just 15. Da, 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 da. He follows quickly behind you. Grickles shall join <laughs> him. 21. 21? Yeah. God, the natural 20 is on the other side. Bor- I know. Yeah. He's now going to do Bork stealth. It's time for the Bork. <laughs> Walk bork, through bork, a wall. He starts Bork stealth by pretty much doing what Solid Snake does by jumping into the air. You know that. It- Where are you, Borky? Oh, you're beneath yeah, the bork, 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 oh, bork, dear. Borky comes up. Dun, 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 dun. Stealth! He says out loud. <laughs> and Borky. <laughs> and Borky. <laughs> 13. So it's a 12 because you yelled out stealth, but Good yeah, 12. <laughs> you sneak up next to Tarisk. Natural 20. <laughs> There's always been. Been. Just you guys from existence. She's always been there. I'm going to say, you guys blink and task as you pop around the corner. Digsby is already walking <laughs> up the bridge. I'm assuming. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> you didn't even see him, kid. Orky combat action rolls out of cover. Stealth and runs up beside Digsby. <laughs> All right, uh, well, I'm, we're gonna hug the wall because that seems yeah. Small. There is yeah. no wall. That is just a platform. Uh, oh, okay. The wall was behind you. There is nothing. There's just the the moat, which is just a pit of sharp, jagged rock. It just spells death. Uh, and then up ahead of you, you see a large metal rusted keep door. Um, and you also see next to that is in front of it is a giant crank. Uh, seems to be attached to the drawbridge uh, on the other side. I will mark it on the map here. If we start, if we start cranking that thing, it's going to alert everything within a hundred feet. Know, right? I mean, it could be two hundred feet. There's only uh, there's only four feet on those guys, anyways. Borky gestures back to the hole. Right. Unless we have any other plans, I don't see any other course okay. of action. All okay. All in favor of me cranking it mightily. Borky puts his hands up. Yeah. If, while you're doing that, I'm gonna be back over. Armsby's up. Thanks, Armsby. Thumbs up. All right, Borky just goes. All right, Borky carefully walks across the bridge. Dun dun. I I ready dun, dun. action my dun, bow. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, already action. Borky goes up to it. What is? What do I have to roll to start cranking that? Uh, strength. Just a straight strength check. Borky grounds his feet. Eighteen. Nice. It's easy enough. It's 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 been used, so it's not out of disrepair. You begin to crank, but as you do, the door begins to open from the top. Like it begins to open from the top, but as you do that, the drawbridge also begins to come up oh. on the path where Task digs. But you actually have to step back as the drawbridge begins to come up as the door is opening. Like Borky stops. Oh, okay. So you all have to get on the bridge with me, I think. Okie dokie. Yeah, oh let's, let's let's get on. Come on, run in. Here, Taurus, here. Wanders up to you. <laughs> Taurus comes. Okay. All right. Now, everyone be careful. It could be a trap. And Borky keeps cranking. Crank, crank. Okay. Keep, 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 ready action at Bo at the door. Ready action. The door begins to slide open. And you see, it's actually lit. There's some torches inside, which has it kind of dimly lit. Um, And eventually that door is completely open. And as it does, the drawbridge actually becomes a new door and closes behind you. So as you open the door, it closes with another door, some sort of security system of some kind. Uh, And I just need to make sure, sorry. That's actually pretty damn sophisticated. Yeah, Yeah, yeah. So de- it's definitely an interesting system here. Uh, I'm going to reveal some things to you. Oh boy. Ooh. What are we looking at? Uh, as you, you kind of enter what looks like just sort of a decrepit entryway. 
Uh, you see a broken table uh, as well as just rocks, ruins. It looks like the part of the roof's collapsed maybe uh, as well. Sorry, I'm just gonna try. I have to reveal all of this to the players. So trying to ensure that it looks okay. I might have to pop into the stream. No, I'm not sure. But You're fine. Right. We should there sneak you. very, very sneakily. Uh, oh, I've not finished oh. describing the room. Um, you see tattered cloth, probably used to be tapestries on the ground, just dried up linen, rotting at the corners. You see a few rats that scatter from your path. And you see um, sets of armor, looking like they're abandoned, uh, kind of like the human armor that you saw the soldiers wearing in the flashbacks are kind of scattered about. It looks like some sort of maybe dressing room, some sort of barracks of some kind. Um, if there were shelves, they've been, they're just rotting on the ground at this point. It's mostly just stone floor, bits of armor, Dig. things hey, like digs. that. This point, uh, panic and Taurus yeah, have to be pushed forward. Can you tell if this place is haunted too? It's got the armor from that one vital field. Hmm. Digsby uses divine sense. Okay, uh, could you click it for me? Yep. How far does that go? 60 feet. So let's see what you can feel. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. So you can see Celestial Fiend or Undead. Okay. Uh, no, you don't sense anything. Hmm, nothing from here. It seems well, fine. Nothing well, out in the ordinary. Remember how back at the battlefield we were like, we probably shouldn't take the armor. It's a battlefield and it's haunted. Um, what if we take the armor here and bring it back to Alavast? And then they look at it and be like, oh, what's this? Oh, man, we'll give Borky a talking sword. I'll mark, I'll mark the armor. It, it uh, doesn't seem like here. anything here is at unrest or anything. I, I think they'd mind too much. It's not like you're Can digging Borky it up. Can grab one of the chess pieces with the symbol on it? Uh, you have to move oh, your token. Okay. So if you guys are moving up to stuff, just Borky move walks your up token. To the I'm Borky checking walks up my... to the X on the oh, wall, walk, walks up to the suit of armor on the left, and Borky takes the chess piece in. Picks it up, I guess. I want you to roll initiative as the armor begins to oh. rattle and rises oh. to life. Oh, uh, do I oh. sense anything now? Uh, no, you don't actually. Ah. Yeah, still nothing. So, what's the purple X on Greckles? That's that, a crank. Oh, I don't that know. was the that was the oh, crank. That was the crank. Oh, yeah. okay. Greckles is a suit of armor as well. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I, guess. I am the Boy, fastest squawk. turtle alive. Squawk. Uh, that one's, that one's gonna get a free hit on you, though, Borky, because you get right up to it. 20. And we're gonna get and some- Borky rolls initiative, too. Up. God, that didn't take long. No, it really didn't. Eight. Good job, you guys. All right. Little last place Borky. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, it's gonna get a free hit on you as Damn a surprise it. action. Da, 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 da. Uh, that is a 17 plus four. Yeah, That's a 21 that to hit right. you. Okay. You take plus, you take four points of bludgeoning damage as it literally slaps you across the face. <laughs> it just goes like, pow, like it just slaps you, you across the face. Don't challenge it all to a duel. Mark your cracks and knuckles. All right, let's take a look at the initiative. Ooh, not bad, Nick. Digsby. Yeah, Digsby with a nat 20. Yeah, not bad. And then we have Task. Uh, then we have Taurus. Then we have Grek. Wait. No, I'm at the. Panic. Panic. Yeah. And then we have Greckles. And then we have good old Borky. We have to roll for the suits of armor, though. Which their initiative is. Ooh, actually, that's just that. Uh, actually, that puts them at the end. Are they? Do they have any? Weapons on their person, or are they just? No, they, they are just suits of armor. Huh. Alrighty. Uh, Tixby, you watch as these things rattle to life, angered. Yeah, it, immediately, like, battle positions. He knows they aren't undead. Unleashes his shovel and casts magic weapon on it. Nice. All right. Your shovel now glows with an ethereal, divine glow, guided by Hoketh. Yep. 
plus one to hit and plus one to uh, damage. So nice. I'll just have to remember that when I'm actually rolling it. It's not and really... that is basically my turn. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna move anywhere. I'm kind of in a good centralized position. Okay. Uh, how long? I'm just gonna double check the bonuses that you guys had because you were there for 20 minutes. I'm pretty um, sure Bless is Bless done. is done. Uh, I'm going to say Inspiration is still there. I think it lasts. How long does that last? Panic. Um, um, I could look it up, too. I can actually look that up. I, I, I feel like this... I, I feel like I'm in Invincible mode in Crash Bandicoot with this bongo music. I am. Right. Right. <laughs> 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 Oh, 10 minutes, so it's over. Yeah, the inspiration's gone too. Sorry, I just want to double check. All right. He already, he already used it anyway, though. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, you did. Doi. Now I feel silly. All righty. Uh, Dingsby, that ends your turn. You're not going to go for an attack or anything. Uh, that That's my action. Is... Uh, it's oh, a bonus. Magic, magic weapon. Oh, it's a bonus, weapon, a bonus action. action. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Then I'm going to go. Hwang that guy. All right, you run up to the suit of armor. The suit of armor actually puts up its like fists, like a like a fist of cuffs gentleman an old, an old as you approach. Boxer. Yeah, and is just ready to go as you approach it. Hello, Hi. Name's, hello, <laughs> name's Digsby, short for Digs. Terribly sorry about this. I think you're supposed to be moving now. Uh, twenty-five. That hits. hits. Wow, that hits. Yeah, plus one, so right. that's twenty-four or twenty-five. Sorry. Yep, uh, and 12 damage. 12 points of damage. You run up and you just hit the helmet right off. You just go for a batter swing. And the Sorry. helmet clung, 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 scatters across the ground. Uh, 12 points of damage. That and down. second attack. Say 26 to hit. That absolutely hits. You guys are your high rolls. Holy hell. And nine damage. Nine damage, not bad. So, you once again line up and you hit his shoulder, you dent it in. Um, nice. Um, it kind of staggers, but then brings up its fists and keeps, it's ready to go. It's ready to tussle, it's ready to throw down. Uh, Task, it is now your turn. I tell Tarsk to assist uh, Borky in fighting this one as I move over here and take pot shots at the one that Digsby hit. Okay. 23. That hits. With Colossus Slayer, that'll be eight points of damage. Okay. You and aim... second hit. Oh, sorry. You aim and hit with the first one. You hear a kong noise as it like lands in like the sternum area, and it like doesn't have a head, but you see it lean down, lean up to you, and it flips you the bird. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, for your second attack. Oh well, fuck you too. <laughs> Twenty. Oh, for damage. So, four t so I want to shoot his middle finger off. Yeah, you do. You you shoot his whole hand off, and it like even gets pinned to the wall. And it like <laughs> looks down, looks up, and then flips you with the other hand. <laughs> uh, that brings it down to that much health. There we go. All right. Uh, Taurus, being very obedient, uh, is going to go and attack this suit of armor. He is going. Do you guys still have the music yeah, up? It, it crashed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Bongos are furious. I wish. I wish I could hear the. Oh, buddy. Uh, Taurus goes to bite the leg of this suit of armor, not realizing that it's metal, and you hear a clink <laughs> noise as you can see one of his oh. teeth crack. On the oh, gee, no. It's pretty hard. Uh, that ends his turn. Uh, that brings us to Panic. It is now your turn. Panic just. Rolls his eyes. Fucking got my sword broken. Nearly got killed by a nymph. Killed some stupid bugbears. Now we're fighting stupid armor. I am so fucking done with this mission. And he raises his palm and he casts heat metal. Oh, on the first one away. Heat metal on the furthest one away. Oh no, he's hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these don't have resistance to that. So yeah, you absolutely do. Yeah. Uh, can you put the spell? Oh, you already did, sorry. Yep. Uh, 60 feet, can you reach him? I just want to make sure you can reach him first. You just reach him. Uh, we'll get a fire token for 
that. Cool. Uh, that weapon... He's going to be a melty boy. Because you that any creature in physical contact with the object takes 2d8 fire damage uh, until the spin ends. Uh, okay, so when does this damage occur? Uh, when I cast the spell and every time I use a bonus action. Okay, roll 2d8. You absolutely... He begins to hear a noise as the humidity of the air begins to impact with the heat. Hey, Roger, you five. five. Holy man. That's on him, so that means... Now, how is this constitution saving throw going to work? He's uh, automatically is... going to fail, because he's... Ah. He is Any, anything in a full plate, like, fails it, I'm pretty sure. He... For this in particular, this... It doesn't have anything to, to, to resist it from. It is literally... You are literally, like, if this were a person, you'd be burning them alive right now. So, there's nothing you can really do about that if you're, you know, the metal being destroyed. Um, okay. Anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Uh... Everybody seems. I'm, I'm gonna use my bonus action to cast Healing Word on Borky. Hey. You heal his slap wound. <laughs> my pride. Oh. <laughs> my, my everything. So, uh. Oh. Get healed for Excellent. six points. Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate it. Yep. Alrighty. Uh, that ends your turn, I'm assuming. Panic with the clutch utility. Yeah. Alright, Rickles. You are now up. You see suits of armor now encroaching, fisticuffs at the ready. One currently glowing red, uh, kind of illuminating the hall. You see the shadows flickering. What in the hells is this day? Oh, I got your digs. I'm gonna do 10, 30, 40. I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna do a, a, a dash stab. So, okay. 40 there, get the shot in, then dash back out of the harm's way. Let's see okay, here. Okay, you are flanking. All right, I hope this corrosive damage does something. Yeah! yeah. Ooh, that's an 11. That, you completely, you just glide against uh, the armor. You day. don't act at all. It just, it's, it's like you ricochet and your hand cramps as you hold back your dagger. You completely miss, I'm afraid. I think we need to change the rarity on that. <laughs> Turn it into the, the useless acid dagger stuff. Uh, it's got a couple of good hits in. A couple. Thinks of the rug. When, when the... <laughs> All right, that ends your turn. That brings us to Borky. You were just slapped in the face by a Slap suit of armor. Back. Okay. <laughs> Unarmed strike, so roll a strength check. Okay, then. <laughs> uh... Nat one! Oh. Natural one. You slap <laughs> Tarsk. <laughs> no. You slap him, indeed. You slap him and don't realize that there's actual, like, serrated bladed edges, like points, spikes coming out of these helmets. As their comment, you go to slap it and you cut Ow! your own hand. As you slap the suit of armor, you take um, you take three points of piercing damage as you slap the armor and hurt yourself. My bonus action, I go into a freaking rage. All right, you go into a rage. This is this is deep. This is detailed hey. storytelling, guys. Right now, you're seeing right now is a story arc <laughs> within a character. <laughs> Don't slap hard things. Don't slap. Don't slap objects. inanimate <laughs> objects. <laughs> High fiving a porcupine. Ow! What are you doing? Panic, guys! Right. I heard it in my hand. I feel like we're reenacting a PSA for Alavast. Don't do this. <laughs> um. Does that end your turn, Porky? <laughs> I gotta say, one of the commenters, Tom and Jerry, ah, intensifies. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. It is now the suits of armor's turn. Uh, this one is going to walk around the board. Do I not get my second attack, though? Oh, right, you do, okay, yeah. Do Borky goes, into, goes into a rage, slap. and then Borky pulls out his axe and hits that thing in the head as hard as he freaking can. Just. Hey. <laughs> and that is 15. 
You ricochet off your hand, entire arms oh. jiggling and jellying as you kind of ah. roll back. Ah. Another scream. <laughs> Borky is not that having ends your luck. turn. <laughs> no. Borky's not having good luck. You ain't getting hit, Greckles. Uh, this one is going. This yeah, I know. No, I did get hit. You hunched. On fire. All right, so we're gonna start with this guy. The guy in front of you who slapped you is gonna slap <laughs> you again. <laughs> Grab me by, by the neck and just smack, 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 smack. He is. Fight. The slap happy armor. That is a 20 to hit you. Okay. I'm just, you, take, I'm just... you take five points of damage reduced down to two as you get slapped in the face. Oh. And he's going to go for a second slap. Let's go for the uh, backhand. That is a, thir uh, sorry, no. a 14 to hit you. Okay, you, you duck underneath as a second right. arm. Foof, goes oh, across. Actually, that's plus, that's plus two though, so that's 16. No. Does 16 hit you? Sorry, he's flanking. No. It doesn't? Okay. The other one behind you is going to oh, kick no. between the legs. <laughs> <laughs> These suits of armors are assholes. They uh, that's yes, 22 they to hit you. Yep, that hits. Jeez. Uh, that is five points of bludgeoning damage reduced oh, down to two. It's, uh, oh, oh, and he is gonna go to punch okay, you so in the I back. Just, just, so as Borky well just got kicked in the nuts, you. right? I just, I feel like. Yeah. 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 Uh, that is eleven plus. That's fifteen plus two. That's does a exactly seventeen what hit you? My, my thing. Okay, then it does hit. He's gonna punch you in the back. That is uh, eight points of bludgeoning damage as he just punches you oh. in the back of your head. And, and that's watching four. a vaudeville and that's, act in uh, Half down to four, then? Uh, it is, yeah, half down to four. I'm being uh, bullied! Dixie, the one in... Morky's being bullied. Give him a wedgie. <laughs> oh, do they drag me to the bathroom and get me a swirly after this? Like, what's happening? I hope so. <laughs> um... This is the fucking Doug Jones fight from Sock Baby 4. And if you don't know what that is, look that up. Digsby, the one in front of you with its free arm is going to try to punch you. Uh, that is not going to hit you. That's a seven. Uh, okay. It swings wide and you just duck into your shell and it just whiffs, kind of spins around back into place and goes with a leg to kind of side karate kick you. Uh, that is a 12 to hit you, which nope. he hits your shell and part of his leg dents. <laughs> Uh, and then the other one in the heated metal is just lumbering forward, kind of. His fingers are starting to drip as he moves forward. Uh, that ends their turn. That brings us back to Digsby. It is now your turn again. All right, I'll keep uh, swinging at this boy in front of me here. Keep this pain train a rolling, hopefully. An uh, 18 to hit. Uh, that just hits, yep. Oh, wow. Well, they are armor suits. Wow, uh, 13 thir damage. So 13 points of damage, that is... Okay, you manage to slice off one of his arms. You just oh, take your shovel one? and just clang, you just slice off. He had one where he was missing his fingers. Oh, okay. You you take that whole arm off, that's just gone now. It's on the ground kind of writhing and like, arm, like arms, but you have a feeling kind of looking at that like, oh, that's what it's like. Um, but it seems to be in kind of distress. Goes to make the second swing, thwank, 19. Yeah, that hits. And 10 damage. 10 damage. Uh, you go and you just take your shovel and you just impale the shovel through the center chest piece. Lift it up and you just smash that armor onto the ground and it slides off motionless. Oh, well, that should do it. Okay, guys, oh! one's down. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Task, it is now your turn. Task looks at the scene with Borky. Slowly turns to look at the one that's on fire. Ah! Big shot that one. Okay. Ah! What a good friend. Task, 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 it looks like he's about to take the shot. Turns and watches for another good five seconds. Uh. Okay, I'm good. Turns back. <laughs> <laughs> cathartic. It's very nice. Oh, it's super cathartic. Here we go. Uh, Steve. that bounces off. It just shatters upon impact, and like you, even there's a little bit of fire as the wooden shaft catches a flame Shit. as the thing keeps lumbering forward. All right, let's try one more time. Uh, 
I'm I'm so out of magic, so I'm gonna hold off on using anything else. Right now. I only have one more magic use for the day. Uh, Twenty six. Twenty six. That absolutely hits. Alrighty, that will be seventeen points of damage. Not bad. Damn. Not bad. You shoot it through, and as it goes right through the center part, you hear some <laughs> like some weird kind of clicking noises, and then the actual arrow itself bursts into flames with the heat metal. All right, so I'm losing those two arrows. Taurus, keep at him, buddy. <laughs> okay, Taurus is gonna go for it. Hopefully this time it does something. Uh, that's 15 plus five, that's 20, he hits. Good, Good boy. boy. That is 1d8. So Taurus bites the leg again and rips it off, dealing. That is six points of damage to this suit of armor right here. You watch Borky as the other one is like punching you. You hear and you look down and you see it's one of those like hopping on one foot, missing a leg now as Tarisk is holding it, wagging Just his flesh tail. Wound. I am invincible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dick, uh, oh, sorry, that's the wrong. Uh, I gotta cross that out because that was the last turn order. Uh, Panic, it is now your turn. So let's roll for that heat metal. Yeah, I'm gonna use my bonus action to renew that. Uh, it's 2d8. 2d8 fire damage. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, 10. 10 damage. You, as you just take your hand, you twist it, it just melts. It becomes a puddle on the ground. Wow, that just damn, that was a brutal kill. And then panic turns to Borky. And he's gonna say, Borky, I need you to get out of the way right now. <laughs> oh! What? <laughs> ah, what's going on? Ah. You run! Get out of the okay, way! Okay, it's not my turn! <laughs> well, when you do, I, I hold my action. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna you hold, hold your my action, action for when Borky moves? Okay. Yeah, when Borky gets about 20 feet away. What about poor Taurus? Okay. <laughs> <That'd be fine. laughs> you fucking heartless bastard! Greckles, it is now fine. your turn. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Greckles seeing that Digsby has things well taken care of and the other one turned into a pile of heated slag. Just looks on at Bork, he's just like... <sighs> he, get, he gets up, he gets I up mean, they don't, they don't really head. have any weapons. Ah, oh, what the hell? It's like the Rick and Morty X... It's like the Rick and Morty X actually. gonna give it to you scene. It's... <laughs> 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 Knock, knock, open up the I door. guess. Greckles half-heartedly dashes forward, brandishing again, hoping the stupid corrosive dagger will do something. Kia! No. Uh, 18, because I'm flanking? Uh, oh yeah, you are. <gasps> Doi. Yeah, you do hit. Kia! Oh, that's, that's for the crit, crit, so that's uh, nine points of damage there. I assume these guys have no internal organs, so sneak attack damage. Uh, I'd you um, still get sneak attack, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Go ahead. 3D6. That's nine. That's okay. Damn. That's eleven. Eleven, not bad. You, you do not. You are not nice to this thing. You come up and you slash it from the side waist of it all the way up to the shoulder blade, and you hear like a like a letter opener from hell as you just glide the knife up. And you ever like ever cut? foam with like a hot knife. Oh, hell yeah, satisfying. Yeah, it's, it's like that. It's super satisfying. With, and, with, the, and the thing the... like reaches back and then goes back to fisticuffs as you do with, so. Pulling up, pulling it up uh, off the right side. I can, I push through the movement and let's see here, 30. I'll finish my movement just a little bit north of where that madness is happening. Okay. And that's that my turn. Your turn. Borky, it is now your turn. I just... <laughs> man, I just... I don't know what to do, man. I, this is bad luck right now. <laughs> I can't help but feel like I'm between a rock and a hard place. Uh, I... <laughs> boy, boy, like, Tap Haddock says, get out of the way. Disengage is an action. So if you want to run away without getting attacked by them, you could disengage and move. 
I did Porky disengages. Fine! Porky, like, drops to his knees, like, into a squat and rolls backwards. <laughs> Dark Souls. Like, no, like a backwards roll. He, he, he curls up like a pangolin and just I rolls roll backwards. Uh, <laughs> like a Samus ball. <laughs> yeah. Morph ball, yeah. there you go. <laughs> Alright, it is now. Ooh, it's now the Do it, Pan wait, Pan turn. Do it, and Borky uh, yells out, Do it, Panic! Oh, right, you Do held it, your action. That's right, it is now your turn, Panic. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm, no, 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 how far away do you want me? I'll just keep rolling. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He said 20, 2, 3, 4. Oh, yeah, Borky, I said about one rolls one more. Sorry, Grackles. <laughs> mm, oh, Jesus. More. Bye, Crackles! <laughs> <laughs> Panic yells to Crackles, Crackles, I'm sorry, you you rolled right into it. I'll heal you later. <laughs> and I cast Shatter. Oh, okay. <laughs> and because they're constructs made of metal, they have disadvantage on this constitution saving throw. Do they? Yep, Ooh. sure do. Yeah, okay. Uh, Let's put Shatter for me. 16 thunder damage. So that's 14. That's 14 plus one. So that's 15 for the first one. And he fails. He fails. Second one. Ooh, whoa, that went all the way. Place. That's a 16 plus one. That's a 17. And that is a nine plus one, which is a 10. So they both fail. Greco's fails. <laughs> Greco's fails. And I'll roll for Tarisk as well. That's, yeah! that's an extra 20 for Tarisk, so he completely no, he's not in dies range. out of the way. Tar Tarisk is in range. He's out of range? Oh, okay. He just looks <laughs> cool in that moment. Yep. <laughs> so, you know, there that's you go. Strange. He suddenly has sunglasses somehow for just a like, Walks second. away. <laughs> all right. So they all take 16 points of damage? Yep. Okay. This one who had its uh, back cut open, as you shatter, it just explodes into two pieces and crashes against the wall. The other one staggers back. All of its limbs are gone, except for its one leg, which is hopping on. The arms are gone. The one leg that Taurus is currently holding onto is there. He's just got one leg. He's just hopping at the moment. He is still in it to win it, right. but That's not really. Action, then. Can, okay. we, can we fluff it that Taurus dabs before Shatter goes off? <laughs> sure. Yes. Thank you. Um, in Fierce Determination, it is now the Suits of Armor turn after that. Uh, reaction. It is going to provoke an attack of opportunity from Tarisk as it targets you, Task, with its one leg in perfect motion. <laughs> Tarisk rolls a two, so he misses. He's too busy taking off the sunglasses. Uh, it is going to run up to you, and it's going to attempt to, with its last final kick, kick you in the face. It rolls a natural one. <laughs> right then. It Ste goes. Step to the side. <laughs> Yeah, you step to the side, it goes to kick you, and it falls down. And is prone at the moment. That ends its turn. That's a sad way to go, he was doing so well. <laughs> uh, Dixby, it is now your turn. I'll save you, small <laughs> child! <laughs> oh boy. Uh, rolls to hit while it's on the ground. That uh, is a 17. 17. That just, you clung, it bounces off as you go down to strike it. It just clung, like you ricochet as well. You just don't get the right shot. Oh, my bad, my bad, another try. That oh, hits. <laughs> oh God, you know, I just did it. Just, I just Charlie Brown football moved away from him. <laughs> and as he does that, he falls down. Dixie just walks up, hits him in the chest, then reaches up again and decapitates him. Oh, oh. And he likes, he like, the body shifts and stumbles and all the limbs are flailing in all kinds of different directions and then it just stops. Oh. I got oh. him. Borky just... So yes, I think, I think the armor is okay to take now. It is... None it's of it done. is salvageable. It is all destroyed at this point. I was going before this madness all happened. Also, looking over at Greckle, how are you? He's kind of clutching his chest, and he's really not happy. 
Oh, I'm, I'm, so I'm gonna I'm gonna raise my my healing wand and I'm gonna uh, spend that uh, action spend spend the healing wand on him. Greckles is, Greckles is actually oh. going to reject that. Oh, for God's sake! While that's happening, I'm going to check my compass. Will you accept? Will you accept? Uh, lay on hands. Oh uh, yes, yes, yes. And no, I'm not being an out of character dick. Like, it's Crackles. He's not a happy fellow. He doesn't want All his right, Capri how, Sun how, how, during how much this damage. Have you taken? I've taken sixteen. That that I, I'm down to seven hit points. All right, I've used nine. How are you? Let Jesus me see. Christ, he's got I don't have bones. much health. I'm a bird. I got hollow bones. <laughs> I have exactly enough to heal you. So I'll use uh, it. Ruffle his feathers. Just, um, ruffle his feathers. Okay, I'll, I'll keep. I'll keep five. You heal all but five. Okay. In, in that case, I'll use the healing wand on oh. Borky. Oh, panic! Thank you. The Borky comes up. Yep. Just like... Thanks for getting oh, out of the way when I told so you good. to. I did so. Wow, you heal him for 12. Holy that God. is oh my max God, that healing. Actually... Wow, okay. I think you just healed me. No, you healed me up to 50. No, it should no, be like no, full I'm, health, isn't it? no. I'm up to 59, though. I'll take it. 59, Jesus Christ. Man, oh, yeah, only 59. <laughs> I mean, Porky was getting... Yeah, I, they, I, wasn't do, I was doing nothing, and they just started beating me up. They suck. I hate here. here. I want to go home. <laughs> Porky kicks one of the helmets. Uh, Tass. No, no, I agree, this mission sucks. Tass, as you look at your compass, it is pointing slightly north and up. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Alright, so over here, yeah. It's heading, uh, heading north. As you stand over there, it's pointing directly up. Uh, and you see, like, a solid, thick, uh, it's, it's the second floor. Oh. Essentially. Mm. Uh, you see three doors, one to the south, one uh, to your left, to the uh, east, yeah, and um, one to the north. I don't... The, comp the compass is pointing up, oh, yeah, so we have to head upstairs. Tysk, hear me out. Hear me out. There's three doors, right? Now, one of these doors leads to up, right? But all the other doors lead somewhere. Maybe it's to a room with a talking sword. Just throwing it out there. So why don't we take a look at everything and uh, see what we could put in the bag? Borky does the eyebrow, little, 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 like that. Is this their new obsession? Just, finding just, a talking just, sword? I just what do you want to cop. <laughs> that is the most poignant question of the evening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that should, I can't understand why that's so funny. <laughs> it's because it's a whole character. Because it's so fucking <laughs> My name is Paul Blademan, and this is my client. <laughs> okay, okay, so we I, are I, here to ask you like to say, I'd like it to say things that are positive to me. Task, task, we'll look up at Borky. Well, our mission here was to find, uh, was to find this orb, but they didn't also say we couldn't find some other things for ourselves. So, if we find the stairs, that's great. If not, let's pillage and plunder oh, as we see Borky goes to, like, high-five me. Come on. Hit it up. Get it up. <sighs> high-five. Okay. So... Do we each take a note, open it up, and yell into them, or should we do one? Do what? No. Oh. No. We sh we should we should pick one door and stick with it. All right. Tell you what. Tell you what. Dig, since you're the new guy, you choose the door. Okie dokie. Well, let's prepare mm. before we open that door. How do you propose to prepare? I am really, really wary that there's going to be more of those bugbears around. So what I can do, I can line Caltrops around the doorway. We can mage hand it open. If anything comes rushing at us, it'll run right into those. All righty. Then Diggs, pick a door and we'll do that. All right. Diggs B closes his eyes because he, like, our usually has a better <clears throat> sense about him you... than he does. Uh, so I'm going to roll a D6 and whichever one Armsby decides, like, 
Uh, number one and two will be the top door. Two and th uh, uh, three and four will be the middle door. Uh, five and six will be the bottom door. So I'll roll a D6. Natural 20 will be leaving. Three, middle door. Natural <laughs> 20 will be I, leaving. Digsby opens his eyes, and Armsby is just pointing at the middle door. The All one right. that's, that we're closest to? Yes. The one that you're right next to, Greffles. Right. Uh, I will ready arrows. You set the caltrops. Two caltrops going down. I do, I will pick those back up if nothing yeah. happens, by the way. <laughs> just so you know. I'll but I'm going to be chilling out right here. All right. Uh, I'm going to ready my hand. I'm going to ready my hand crossbow as well. Okay. All right. Are you guys ready? Oh, I just, just position. Forky positions himself to the right of the door. Tarisk being the goodest boy is just going to sit right next to you, Task. Digsby I'll, will I'll, accept. Uh, Digsby will accept well, the honor of opening the door. Uh, we're opening that at range. If yeah. We're opening it at oh, gotcha. yeah. No, you're going to be stepping yeah, on. We're using main hand. Ow. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. All right. Hey now, don't take my job. Go <laughs> <laughs> throwing out the castle. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry Flying away. Uh. What do we That's see? That's a nice hallway. It's like you a hole. A horizontal. very long hallway. It looks like there might be other mm. holes. All right, pick up the cow drops. All yeah, right, cool. right. Back choose to self donate. Porky, do, 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 do. cow drop it up. What layer did I put? Wait, one second. Yeah, we're, we're going through the hallway, aren't we? Okay. Yeah. On. One thing right, at a time. Porky and Digsby take up the front. I think that we can agree with that positioning. One second. I'm trying to delete <clears> the cow drops, <throat> and it won't let me. Wait, you put cow drops down? Well, I put like a thing down. Oh, you put, you put the orange thing down. The okay. orange box, okay. Yeah. Well, let me take it. Okay, well, fine. They're, they're not there anymore, but- They're not the there, but they're they there are. in spirit. They are. Uh, panic, yeah, you'll have to move as well. I'll move panic. Oh, there he is. All right, you guys head on forward. Very grimy, gross smell. Um, very stagnant. Um, Gross. You smell a mixture of foul odors. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Not not so fun. I'm just fine. Fine, fine. Just... No, Tars, stay back here. <laughs> you have to be very careful. <laughs> I just imagine Scooby. I just imagine the Scooby Doo <laughs> walking around looking for Clues music playing. Okay. All right. Yeah, more All right, or less. Guys. So like two more doors here, or is yeah. this just? Uh... I'm gonna assume you guys are gonna peek around the corners. Yeah, we peek around the corners. Board. He peeks at the one to the south. Oh. There we go. Oh, oh this is scary! Night. I don't like this. Oh, okay. There we go. For... So yeah. Oh, Nick's... more doors. All right. Can we see yeah, what's ahead of us? Uh, another big door. Oh, many doors. Lots of doors. To the Which right. Should we go, Bob? Oh, thanks, mate. Borky walks to the right. This way. Dun 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 dun. Bor oh Oops, god, I'm inside. Sorry. I'm inside task. There you go. There you go. Oh god damn it! Borky god, moves to the left forward. of the door. Like all stealth. <laughs> okay. Diggs, I, I want you. I want you to open <gasps> the door. I, oh, oh. If he's something Dougie. evil. What? Borky. I'm Let's safe. be safe about this. I'm talking about what you're I'm doing, not. so you're aware of what I'm doing. Oh, Taz, can you step back and I'll put your couch drops can't down? Remove them. Go for it. Okay, I'm just gonna pretend they're there because apparently yeah, yeah. I'm not allowed to have squares. You guys, you guys need to move out of the okay, space. Fine. All right, then I'll Before stay you, over here so I can you, ready arrow. You guys are still in the space. You guys are in the well, space. We have to get in through the right, door, right. crackles. How big is it? <laughs> It's a very narrow hallway. Yeah, Caltrops might not be the best idea for this hallway. You guys oh, might right. actually start okay. taking damage. I'm all right, kick the, do kick the door down. Oh, I got right. my arrows ready. Oh, right. boy. Right. Digs all right. gingerly I've got, opens the door. All right. I've, got my hand door. I've got my hand crossbow readied in the opposite direction, just in case anything Covering comes up our behind six. us. Yeah, bloody. Digsby, you open the door, and you hear, you hear a whole bunch of bats. Oh, oh, God. They're all hanging up on the roof and hanging out. Is that a chest? Boys? Uh, it's a keg. It looks like a large. It's got, covered in cobwebs, and there's just rat poop everywhere. Or not rat poop. Uh, uh, bat poop. Uh, uh -huh. Can Borky do, can Borky no. do like a perception check to see what's in the room? Aside from... 
Uh, yeah, absolutely. A perception check, yeah. and that is a five. Borky. It... You see bats. Borky, look, look, look. a lot of bats in there. All right, so before we just go inside and disturb them, should yeah, we open up right. the other door? I mean, oh, I don't have to go in there. That's a lot of that's a lot of bat poop. All right, Gangsby, All right. if you'd be so kind, gingerly open the door. I gingerly open this other door. Okay. As you gingerly open the door, you hear a eek, snapping noise. I need you to make a uh, uh, dexterity saving throw. And Task, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw as well because you are behind in speed. See, oh, this is why I wanted to play it this. safe. As you open the door, you see as a swinging log comes blasting through for it. You fail, and oh. Task, you fail. Uh, you get hit by me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the you watch as the the uh, end part of the log swings out and hits you right in the chest. Uh, should, uh, a silly question: again. Should yeah. I be able to detect that with my detect traps? Oh. You're not the one getting hit. No, that you get advantage on um, on uh, b- 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 trap saves. If you were the one who had triggered this, you would have gotten Maybe advantage. Maybe you should be on the one opening these doors. Do Maybe I should be the one opening these doors. <laughs> not. <laughs> do you, do you, does he does he just get bonuses to saves and not like trap sonar? I have danger sense. Digsby, you take eighteen oh. points of damage. Fuck. And you are tossed uh, fifteen feet back. Task, yeah. you're gonna take reduced damage because you weren't hit by the blunt of it. You're hit uh, you show. take eight points of damage. But you guys ah. don't hit the door. You manage to skid past. You skid through Guano. And come to a stop as the, I'll show you the trap now, so you get a sense of what it looks like. As the log swings back and forth after being triggered, that is a big log. Holy yeah, cow! Yeah, it was a huge log. So you took a oh significant chunk of damage. All right, Bork. All right, Bork. Borky, are we gonna play? Borky, like you, you gotta own? open doors to get in the rooms you want to get in. So I don't know. What... Yes. Uh, just for the those... record, I'm gonna use those five points of lay on hands just... that I saved. Is he just? You have yeah. You do that. Real fast. I'm imagining you're like face palming. Uh, five health. Uh. Yeah. As you guys like slide into that room, the bats startle and they actually fly through a hole, a tiny little sunlight hole. Uh, Hi, to escape. They're pretty scared at that point. Sorry. Greckles is going to nervously drink one of his <laughs> one of his two d four pots. <laughs> Tasko, oh no. Yeah, tasks crushed underneath the fucking uh, underneath uh, digs me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I rock forward. <laughs> <laughs> Five points, okay. Uh, plus four, because it was a two four. Borky walks into okay. the room very yeah. gingerly and just inspects what the room looks like, just from the doorway. Okay, roll roll an uh, investigation Borky check. Investigates. Oh, someone else can do it after me, please, because I got a <sighs> negative one on this one. But I'll take that eighteen. Oh. You find a oh. book. I found a book. Do you uh, it's, it's, it. it's got a green, green cover spaced. to it. It's kind of like nice, intricate. Kind of has like a design on it. Uh, it has like a mm. sword, uh, like a hilt and a sword on it. The sword looks all fancy on the on the cover. Do you open it? Borky looks at the ball. I got me a book, and Borky backs up a little bit and opens it. It's completely mm, blank it's on the inside. It's a book I can really get into. It's, it's, a, it's a real page ah. turner, lad. <laughs> yeah, you flip through the pages, Wait, there's nothing inside strange. of this. Borky, Borky, but, uh, what, hold on. Oh, uh, yeah. Can I see? Uh, Borky just tosses it to him. Digsby just writes on the first page. Hello, my name's Digsby. It's all for Digs, but <laughs> please call me Digs. Okay. Uh, you do so. Well, I'm, nothing well, happens. Now I got, now I got your autograph. Borky book. takes the un... Borky puts back to book it. into the bag. Book of green. Yeah, well, green book. Green cover book. Well, since I'm, like, fucking waist high in guano right now, I may as well check her out my surroundings. Uh, you look around, you don't see anything. It just seems like a room where the bats like to hang out. The keg, well, uh, is completely empty. It is bone dry. Oh, okay, okay, so it's just mm-hmm. an empty room. 
Though you realize, had you not opened that door, that trap probably would have hurt you a lot more had you slammed into the door on the other side. Ah, so okay. Maybe, maybe a good thing you opened that. Yeah, good thing. I feel accomplished! <laughs> is, uh, Coughs up a tooth. Is, is the uh, direct south of us, is that a wall right there? That is a wall, yeah. Okay. Uh, it, you realize, too, as you're in this place... You can't even hear the rain outside, which is probably why no one came to help those bugbears outside. It's because it's a very solid structure, despite, you know, falling into pieces. Excuse me, puppy. Excuse me, panic. All right. I'm going to be opening all the doors from now on. Everyone stay back, please. Everyone stay back. Uh, Digsby. I love you. Anybody? Anyone need any healing potions before we do this? Uh, I actually have a whole... I have a whole huggy bunch of healing potions as well so maybe we okay. should spread these out oh, Dig, Dig, does, where, uh, uh, Digsby needs it he took, uh, a, he took a log to the face and not the good kind of log I'm fine I have seven cure minor wound potions Monty mm -hmm. what would I roll to try and convince Borky that opening these doors at range they are up uh, you're cutting out opening you're them cutting out. just in front you are cutting in and out okay, so well, I don't even know how to answer your question okay yeah. okay okay how's that you just say it, and it's up to him whether or not to do it. There's no okay. rolling you can do. I'm sorry. If he wants to open them, he's going to open them, and that's all right. No, kind of the no way that's, it is. that's that's okay. Cool. Let 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 it, let it play out. I will let the lad. All do right, his, stay back. Borky opens the door to the left on the top area. Okay. He, he, he like, As you go to reach, you grab the knob from the side oh. a little bit, and then push it with the hand. I'm gonna say you're gonna have to go right there to open the door. It's a heavy door. Yeah, they're big yeah. doors. These are not like Borky dinky bedroom the door. doors. Uh, you reach out with your hand, you grab the knob, and you twist, and there's a click, and you pull it open, and that is no! where we end the session for tonight. Oh God! Oh, oh damn it! Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's scary. oh God! Ten o'clock. Is it a talking oh, sword? Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. Oh my well, God! This session. Woo! That was a lot of fun. There's a lot of this is a lot of D and D shenanigans happening right now. Yeah, this is. I think you guys are gonna get the gist as to what's going on right now. You guys are kind of in a dungeon, which is kind of fun. Yeah, fun. Yeah. Okay, so we we got a name. Okay, stop so... our recordings, but we gotta we gotta come up with a name for this episode. Oh yeah. Later, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Ending record. Bye, Austin. Hopefully my audio this is doesn't episode 42, act up Borky. again. Uh, Borky, Borky, this 40, is 42. What? 42. Okay. Perfect. Why is it always gonna... Why is it the rogue checking for traps? I don't know. Ooh. I don't know. Maybe the big green boy would should let him Borky, do his job. Checks for traps. Oh, why haven't you been doing that? Because your big fat ass is in the way. <laughs> okay, so like... Oh, the humanity. I know, I, I <laughs> saw that. Humanity. That's good. That's good. I like That's that. That's a pretty good name. Episode, episode. Bad I'll day. be the right. <laughs> Porky's bad day. Porky's <laughs> bad day. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. <clears throat> I, I, I kind of was also liking, I know this is way stupid, but I was also liking, don't slap a suit of armor. <laughs> don't slap a suit of armor. It's oh, good yeah. advice. Uh, Helix, open the doors. It's Lieutenant Gore. Hello, it's me. <laughs> it's me. Oh, lions and tigers and bus bears are not. Yeah. It's title option, a tale of two logs. <laughs> Into the fungeon. Mm, not bad. I like the humanity. That one's yeah, cool. oh, yeah, all the humanity. All, all, all the, the humanity's humanity. pretty good. Humanity. I, I think I'm gonna this head is episode 42. Yeah. Sounds all good, right. Snake. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be heading out shortly, too. You yeah. said this was episode 42? Yeah, 42. Oh my. All right. Whoa! Time to go ahead and work out that oh my God. Drop. I am going to. Say good night, everybody. This Thank has been you for coming. I am signing off. Have Later, a good dude. one, everybody. Thank you, Annie. Take care. Have a Nani. good night. Thank you for joining Nothing us. Nothing pro. Scythe Drago. Thank you so much, Nick. Scythe Drago with five <clears throat> times ten, fifty thousand bits. Oh my <gasps> God. 
Uh, yeah, I'll, like, uh, intensely. Uh, yep, yep. Probate? Nothing personal, kid. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> oh, I hope you guys oh, like the session. A lot of combat, a lot of, a lot of inventive no, ways to fight, which was a lot of fun. So, oh, the humanity. <laughs> oh, the humanity is. Uh, I wanna like I don't know what to say, say the bits. Uh, I uh, yeah. Like, Scythe Drago, holy shit, dude! <laughs> what? Fifty. Yeah, they're, they're 50, kind of fucking bits. crazy right I, now. I I I am I am uh I I have no words. Uh, I have no words. All hail, the new bit boss, Scythe Drago. Your. He cashed in his his bits in the bank t uh bits in the bank <laughs> contract. Oh. But Hanye Tui, five hundred bits. What a freaking cliffhanger! Love everything you guys do. Also, all hail the new bit boss. All is probate reaching his limit. Will he have to go ultra instinct? Nani? Nani? My God! Thank you so much, Scythe Drago. And also, this other bit call us to do. Uh, during that session, uh, Geet, uh, we also have Eric King W. Don't slap an animate object or bulk Borky's bullies for uh, title ideas. Millen Ninja! God damn it! Ah! No, babe! Millen Ninja! Oh my one God. second, 500 minutes! Borky the Orky presents Orc hit by armor. Pff, oh, my groin! <laughs> Gino Kaze, 1,000 bits! <laughs> Ultra I feel like this is the slap that's scene from the Night at the Museum. Oh my god, that's fair. <laughs> and probate! <laughs> Fatality. Probate literally, like, teleports inside Scythe Drago and slowly gets bigger, like, <laughs> just it pulls him apart. <laughs> from my Eva, for one year I slumbered. He can't the true king ultra bit stinked and rips him asunder in a red mist. Scythe Drago is defeated. And Scythe Drago, thank you again for the 50,000 bits. Oh! And Probate, thank you for the 35,000 bits. I just. Um. I think you have oh, some calculating yeah. to do later. That was you. Uh, this 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 um this this stream brought to you by Probate. Nods. Yep. Taka has become gripples. Yeah, I'm exploding. I uh, <laughs> I uh, wow. Thank you so much to you two. No no idea what to say. Plus some like hundred bits. Like I said earlier, Probate. Pro pro probate has to dust the pretenders off his throne. Scythe Drago. <laughs> Great session as always. I look forward to watching the next every Wednesday, and I try to spread the good word of our savior Gripples and his high priest tubs every chance I get. But I also love seeing you talk a break because of all the massive bit drops. So here's my contribution to support one of my favorite groups of people. To feed the good boy and to relish your reaction. Well, you can relish forever. Thank you for the 1,500 bits. <gasps> what? I, I, I got to say, guys, if we meet, uh, drinks are on me. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm drinks fucking are on you for a month, right? son. God <laughs> damn in heaven. I want to give a quick shout out uh, to CNL Snake. We had to pop out a little bit early, guys. Guys, definitely go check out CNL Snake with a three instead of an E on Twitch. He does a lot of amazing uh, streams. He does a lot of variety streams, and it's really cool. Oh, he is. Like Overlord that's, right now too. That's pretty, pretty damn pretty awesome. cool. So definitely yeah. go check him out, guys. Uh, also, Lanny, who had to dip out here really early too. Uh, Lanny, uh, twitch.tv slash Lanny Pator. He does some really cool, wholesome streams, and he's pretty damn good at Hearthstone. Like I say. Uh... He plays yes, Stardew uh, Valley too sometimes. Goob, guys in Gooba, where can they Ooh, find you at? You can find me here at Gaijin Goomba without an H because that is the joke. Um, <laughs> I would also like to, I would also love to plug Ooh. my adorable wife, uh, Aki Terra, and that's where you can find her. She is, she's doing a lot more streaming. She does a lot of uh, Final Fantasy XIV, uh, a lot of RPGs, and she's absolutely awesome. adorable to watch. 
And she's very oh. knowledgeable of the game she plays too, which is. Oh she yeah, is. she's she's, she's very. very knowledgeable. Like Final watching Fantasy. me playing the game. Where's the button? This is like she she's got. <laughs> she's uh, just... This is this is the ent- she could take out oh, your entire damn. Gakuin class. I'll put it that way. Oh my god, she's like the final boss. I'm just I'm just imagining not, not really like cause... the All Might just beating up everybody right now. <laughs> Yeah. Except All Might's a, like a small, adorable This sounds girl. like anime. Uh, Zito, where can they find you? Yeah. <laughs> you can find me at twitch.tv slash Zito. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I know tomorrow I'm going but as for going forward, uh, I just got back from a small little, like, vacation, so I'm kind of just like, oh, I gotta pick up and figure out what I'm gonna be doing, so... Friday and Sunday streams are a big question mark right now, but there are plenty of things I have been looking forward to to stream. So, variety stream, yay. Maybe Monster Hunter on Sunday. Maybe Them's Fighting Herds. I want to do more community-based stuff on Sundays. And one of these days, one of these fucking millennia, I'll do a D&D stream on Sundays. So that That's happening sooner. Mo- that's awesome. Monty, oh. where can they find you? And tell everyone a little bit more about that fan art thing. That you, uh, the, the, sorry, not the fan art. Blah, the charity stream you're doing on Friday. Forgive me. <laughs> oh. yeah. uh, you can find me uh, at Monty Glue on Twitter, and then you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. On Friday, I'll be doing a variety charity sort of stream where any bits that are donated to me at that stream, I will be donating to Woo! a local animal rescue that deals with animals from horses all the way down to little mice, they deal in everything, and their focus is on getting uh, animals abandoned in rural areas uh, kind of covered and protected. They also spay and neuter all their animals, which I totally am like for, so I want to help give them some money to cover mm. uh, medical costs That's for really animals awesome. that need That's really awesome. and things That's like really, that. That's really, really yeah. awesome. Helix, 1,000 bits, I'll cap out at 30k yes. because it's a nice round number. Round boy Helix, <laughs> and Cryptic Saiyajin with a hunt. Thank you so much for the 1,000 bits, Helix. And Cryptic Saiyajin with 100 bits. Is there any chance we could raid Connor's friend? Hey, Mr. Rabbit. I think we're going to do that and completely freak out a smaller streamer. Yeah, do it. do it. It's going to be scary. scary. All right, guys. Yeah. You, got, you guys want to scare us? I want you all to... I want you... Yeah, raid. I'm about do to it. Do, it. do it. I've been... Ca- Let's make him have a stroke. Heads, heads up, though. He's very loud. So if you're not a fan of, like, a louder sort of I'm about streamer, to, I'm he, about is, to hit he, is, he is very upbeat I'm about to hit this crazy. raid button here, guys. Because once so, I raid, I'm shutting down the stream. Do it. Do uh, it. Guys, Destroy again, him. a big quick shout-out to <laughs> Scythe Drago, Helix, Probate, uh, Pro- <laughs> Argent Lyle, Chex Mixer, Jack Jumble, yeah, LeJake, X Nickum, Emon Tizzle, Starstruck, like, and the list goes on and on and on. My God. All right, guys. Time to raid. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Slash. Put oh, fear in him. Oh, go. oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I gotta go watch that. Make him afraid. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh no. I gotta click his fun. stream. I gotta click his stream. I gotta see what Bye. happens. Bye. See you next week.